everybody, welcome to Warhammer Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Today I'm joined by Craig with his maggot can of Nurgle to take on my Stormcast Eternals with a few new painted units. I added some more Vindictors and Annihilators, painted up a Foot Lord Arcanum to try out a new 2,000 point list. So, we're going to throw in with a mission from the 2021 General's Handbook Grand Tournament Scenarios. We'll show you the table, we'll show you the armies, and get this underway. So here is my 2,000 points of Stormcast Eternals. There's one like little hiding old unit in the background here. But um, we've got two battalions. I have a Warlord Battalion. Uh, it's led by my Lord Impuritan, who is my Warlord. He's got the trait Single-Minded Fury and Storm Rage Blade, because I am a Celestial Vindicator from Gur. Uh, my grand strategy, I should mention, is Vendetta, and my Triumph is Indomitable, which means auto pass a uh, bat uh, battle shock once per game. Um, then I've got uh, the Knight Vexilor and the Lord Arcanum. The Knight Vexilor has an Arcane Tome from the um, Warlord Battalion. And then the uh, Lord Arcanum has the spell Celestial Blades. The Arcanum also has Celestial Blades as a spell because it's really nice to be able to occasionally hand out some plus damage. Um, then in the Warlord Battalion, I have some Praetors to round it off. And then I have a Battle Battalion, or Battle Regiment, sorry, led by Andrasta and containing five units, two units of Annihilators. Uh, two units of 10 Vindictors, and a single 5 million Adjudicators that I'm really hoping there's a Thunderstrike shooting unit I can replace these guys with. Not that I don't like them, but they're just, if you compare, <laughs> if you look at the models compared to the old ones, they're very, they're very six years ago. They're very 2015, 2016. Um, and I'll take my 2000, watch actually 1990 points of Stormcast Journals. So here's Craig's 2000 points of Magna Kid and Nurgle. What do we got? We have a Warlord Battalion, so we've got the Great Unclean one with the 30 Plague Bearers. He is accompanied by the Spoilpox Scrivener and the Sloppity Bile Piper. Still the best name in Warhammer Age of Sigmar, Sloppity Bile Piper. Sloppy I, Bile I Piper. never get tired of saying it. <laughs> uh, I, lo I love the names of his new songs, yeah. too. And then we have a uh, Battle Regiment where we have the Pox Bringer. He is bringing a Bountiful Swarm, which... Uh, is going to allow him to kill some of your guys on a uh, just have to roll over their wounds characteristics. Right. He then also has two units of ten plague bearers, two units of three drones, and two units of single beasts. So it's a is it single beast? It'd have to be double beasts. It's five units, I think, in a battle regiment. Uh no. Is it six units? I think there's three and then three extra can be allowed. Oh gotcha, cool. Sweet. There you go. Yeah. I'm wrong then. So um yeah, and then we took the oh the Soul, sn soul Snare Shackles. Sweet, which are actually really, really good now. Half movement is a big deal. It's even bigger deal. Yeah, so uh, and what is your, sorry, what's your, um, al not allegiance, but the other thing, your... Oh, I'm uh, the, the host of chaos is Munificent Wanderers. Munificent Wanderers, sweet. So that means that if I kill one of these guys with a six to hit, then you do a mortal wound back to me, which is really funny because my Vindictors do mortal wounds on sixes. Mm, it's just so two for tat. We, yeah, if, if I do one, you do one, which is going to be rough for the Plague Bearers. And that means that this uh, big, big pokey here is... Uh, the Muck Talon, so instead of hitting on fours, it's hitting on threes now. Sweet. Threes and threes, minus two, three damage or four damage? Something three like damage. That. Three damage, yeah. yeah. Big, big bad news. So with this very cool contagion marker, which is disturbing me <laughs> staring at it. Uh, and you've got some summons here to the side, too. And this counts your points, and it's yeah. what? One, one, five, so, ten? Yeah, so like that's like he's got one contagion, two contagion. Yeah. That's he, gets, a, he gets more gross as he goes on. <laughs> Get in there. The thing coming out. And then there's 17 Contagion. Go right. So as things go on, you can just sort of look at the things and you quickly get used to it. You're quickly counting up how many Contagion how many you have. Yes. You know, pop the pimples as they uh, get used. That's awesome. For Battle Pack, we've got four, which is going to be Table 2. And then rolling again, it's one, which is Apex Predators. So we're playing Apex Predators. Amidst the storm-wracked, thunderscorn peaks, two armies have met at the site of an ancient tribal tomb. Should a war leader prove themselves worthy, the spirits of Gur will infuse them with new power. So this is Attacker Defender. Attacker um, gets to choose a side they deploy on. Defender sets up the battlefield. Uh, deployment, the, um, you go back and forth. And we have the same number of drops, meaning that whoever wins the Attacker Defender probably is going to choose priority for the turn. Uh, and then Alters of the Beast, these are 3 inch zones, not 6 inch zones, and scoring is not as normal. So scoring is still hold 1, hold 2, hold more for round, plus your battle uh, tactic for the turn. But only leaders can hold zones, they hold them either by um, standing on the zone, so you gain control by staying on the zone, and having no um, enemy leader within range, like within 3 of the objective, you take control of it. Obviously it still remains in control until you either leave the zone, 
um, or you die. The other way to take it is to have a leader, an enemy leader, kill a leader of yours on the zone, and then it flips to theirs. You can't leave them either, which is worth noting. So you can't walk away from the zones and just leave them controlled. They have to be held. Um, deployment is going to be quarters, so basically like so, and then you have to deploy outside of nine of enemy territory. Facing off for attacker defender, I got a six. You get a four. I'll choose to be the defender and I will place the terrain and then you can choose quarters and we'll set up. All right, so we're deployed. I placed down my five units. So it's my Lord Arcanum hanging out with the Praetors who are bodyguarding Andrasta. Uh, then I've got my Lord Impuritant and a unit of Judicators. Up in the sky, I've got two units of Vindictors, two units of Annihilators and the Vexilor. Uh, he'll be there in reserve, trying to grab one of these zones. Uh, as I've got five units down, I can put five units up. His army, we've got ten plague bearers with some plague drones. We got the big friendly giant there with the bile piper and the. Um, no, bile piper's just... back here. Oh, sorry, bile piper's back there. The pox bringer. Pox and, and the scrivener. scrivener. That's right. Yeah. And then the big thirty-man blob with the narma. Uh, the two-man unit of, um, we did realize that it is five units. He could have six units total, like one of them could have been in the World Detachment, but only, he can only have five units in a Battle Regiment. And the other drones and um, unit of uh, play bears over there. One, two, three zones are all free. Uh, Craig finished deploying first, because he had four, five drops to my five drops and went down first. So you can choose, you want to go first or second? All right, so Craig's going to go first, and that means we got to track some points. So first of all, I'm going to get three command points, as I've got uh, one for, uh, sorry, two for going second, one for having my general alive in the battlefield, and you'll get two as well, one for going first, and one for your general being alive on the battlefield. And then what's you got uh, going on for your heroic action? Choose a battle plan. So you got to choose one battle plan for the start of the round, trying to accomplish the end of the turn. Choosing to uh, have three units run and all in within three of each other, what three units do you pick? Uh, the beasts the um, plague bears mm, that's it. it oh you could do, you could do the beasts too oh they're one unit that's right yeah yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're one unit so beast plague bears and I guess then do the characters count? yep they're a unit okay so then the spoil pox sweet you get a heroic action so you could make a CP you could um, have your finest hour where you get plus one save and plus one wound but it's only once per game which probably doesn't need to happen just yet um, or you could ha add an extra dispel which you obviously don't need to do during your turn you would heal but you're not wounded so make an extra CP it's usually the only one you can do in the first round here's gonna do it uh, we will go with um, we'll go with the spoil pox he's, he's gonna start uh, moving up a little See, closer four plus no, no, doesn't get it. The same thing, and we'll give it to Indrasta. Go Fasta. No, she doesn't get it. All right, uh, so you're on to the hero phase. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, actually, yeah, points. Yeah, Your well, corruption points. Uh, so first, points. we're going to start off with the Nurgle Wheel. Yep. So Nurgle Wheel starts at number four, which is Plague of Misery. Uh, you're re-rolling battle shock tests of one for enemy units. Ooh. And then you've got uh, how many contagion points? You've got one tree. So, uh, it's, so three for being here. Yep. One because you're not here. Yep. And then D three for the tree. So it could get so seven. Four plus D three says. Oh, Try again. One. So five it begins to get ill. Magic, and or other hero phase things. A foul regenesis to change the seasons. And who's casting that? Uh, the On a one? seven, uh, I could try and dispel it with my Lord Arcanum. I don't super care. So go ahead. Okay. So I'm putting it back to number five, which is Nauseous Revulsion. So re-rolling wound rolls of six or more for attacks made by enemy units. Oof, nice. Okay, we're gonna do Mystic Shield on the big unit of Plague Bears. Cool. Three Ooh. fails. And uh, then you almost, got- Almost that- uh, Miscast, yeah. Miscast, yeah. And then you got one left on the Scrivener? No, the- The, the Poxbringer, that's right. So nothing else to do, so he'll just go for the Arcane Bolt. Load it up, save it for later. And on a seven. seven. Trying to spell that. Nurgle wants it. You get it. Just cast automatically. Exactly. Movement phase it is. We'll start off moving the plague bears down here. And they will run. For an Five. inch. And they are moving yeah. up. And um the way. Beast's gonna move up. Try and get out of the way. There we go. Twelve. All day, every day. Yeah, but they want to go that far because then that spoil pox has to be close yeah, to the you three. Maybe go a little bit. Laterally, just to make sure he makes it to you. I mean, he moves four, so as long as you're within eight of him when you finish your move with one of them, then he's good to go. One of them could key up a little bit more. Remember that to say, with an inch of each other, you can just move that out of the way, and it's not really there. There you go. I'm gonna use forward onto victory with him to make sure that he's staying within three of the beasts. So you can just run ten. Yeah, so run ten. So that's like. That way, the play bears can make sure it happens for everybody else. Yeah, and so then he's just gonna come up into there. Well, for the play bears, they go six. 
six. As long as that closest guy is within three of the so like Beast and Ergle, you should be fine. So three and then three more. Three. And, three. and they're all moved up. Suckers out of the way. Running one. So uh, five. The, the purple ones. The purple ones aren't ripe yet. Apparently, they're, <laughs> they're still uh, they're still a little bit uh, under the weather. Getting in the zone. Yeah, the not your territory at least. The flies, but they fly at least. They can go over stuff. They can move eight plus a run if you want. Let's, let's just roll and see what we do. We don't have to. Not committed to moving the full fourteen. 14. There you go. Oh. Why not? Zoom, Push me zoom, off the zoom. zone. At least it means I can't arrive by a um, by a super strike at least. The drones, and then you got your two characters, three yeah. characters in the back. Yeah. But they fly at least. They can get over the. Yeah. So we'll, they can you just go right over the building if you want. True. True that. And they go. Twelve. 12. Not bad. And I'll hop them forward. Yeah. Again, pushing back off the zones. In the vanguard, droning away. And then you've got your Bile Piper, Pox Springer, and Great Unclean one left. Just get a garrison. Mm -hmm. Sweet, go in. Her. And he gets minus one to hit and plus one save. But he counts as being the the whole thing now. Oh. Playing a concert in there, exactly. Yes, this is his new concert. I was very excited about the acoustic abilities of this uh, Dreadstone Blight. Gonna run with the Pox Springer? Yeah, we're gonna run with him. He goes extra two, so six. Six. Get in the woods. He's like, these woods are not normally enough yet. Uh. Bolt he can throw later. And then what about Big Boy? He's gonna kind of have to wait a little bit, but he can probably shuffle in. I remember I can't draw line of sight through this, which is nice, so I can't actually yeah, see you exactly. if it's through more than three of it. So if he starts towing into there, you'll be safe. No, actually, he, sorry. He actually, him. I lie. You, I can see you because you have ten or more wounds. It only blocks no, line of sight things with less than two wounds. Sixteen wounds. This guy. Oh no! I thought you were talking about him. Oh no! no I was talking about him. He's he's invisible. I meant this guy up here. Is the trees? So where's Big Boy gonna go? Um, Just yeah. shuffle forward. Start being big. Sweet. Well, shooting phase. Who's got guns? Uh. The guys yeah, who ran away from you. All right, sweet. And they ran. Yeah. So for all these reasons, bottom of one, uh, my start of turn, I will attempt to once again make a CP with Indrasta. What about my points? Oh, sorry, you score two. Yeah, you score two. Uh, but you didn't take any of the zones, so you'll just get your tactic. Good. Checking out. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run three units and have them within three of each other. I'm going to run the Praetors. I'm going to run the Lord Arcanum. I'm gonna learn the Lord Impuritant. So here phase now, sorry, I'm gonna make a CP with Andrasta, but I failed. Uh, what's your heroic action gonna be? You could make a CP with somebody as well if you want, or you can get an extra dispel, although I only cast once. Yeah, I will, um, nobody's wounded, nobody, uh, command point. Okay, roll for four plus. Uh, Who's gonna we'll do it? Go with, um, let's say Spoil Mo. Pox. Let's say Mo, sure, four plus. He gets it's a pimple. Magic. Let's do some magic. I'm going to cast from my Lord Arcanum. Not Celestial Blades. Let's just do Mystic Shield and we'll cast it on Andrasta. Goes off with a 10. Well, I've got lots of dispels, so I might as well try. Might as well try. Oh, eight close. Well, jacked up the lightning. Movement phase. Uh, Andrasta is just going to be like, hello, happy hounds of Nurgle, and walk over here. Uh, the Praetors are going to run, because they, because I said they would, they're going to run five, so they go ten total. So again, just staying inside of three of you, which means on the zone. Uh, he'll run, not that he's going to go very far, to there. And then the Lord Imperitant will run, and go an extra three, so you can go eight, and they're all within three of each other, so I'll score my zone. These guys just walk five, get in the war. And then end of my movement phase, the lightning strikes! Uh, Brooks song. These guys come out of the sky. First arrives. Yeah, the second is gonna arrive. Back behind Indrasta as well. Just being spears. There's unit number two down. We are going to use the um, Lord and Pure Tance ability to bring a single unit down within, not within seven. So that's to say, not within seven here of Annihilators. And they're gonna show up Kablooey. Actually, I could show up like this. And then I Vexilar is just going to show up here. That's out of nine. And be like, this belongs to me. This guy shows up, or these guys show up all units within 10, which is to say uh, these drones, the Bile Piper, because he's in there, and then this unit of um, dudes and the uh, beasts on a four plus take D3 mortal wounds. So the beasts, yes, take two mortal wounds. Five plus wound shrug. And pass both. Oh. Uh, little guys, 
take three and get three wound shrugs. And pass one, so two guys go. Wild Piper does not take any, and the drones don't take any. Even worse, we still got one Annihilator unit in the bank, uh, but now we're gonna charge with Indra. Oh, sorry, now we're gonna do some shooting. What am I doing? Uh, let's chuck some spears. So we're gonna start with you. You're gonna throw your spear, I think, into the Bile Piper. You're minus one to hit because it's in a tower. Uh, so I think we spend a CP to all at attack. Would you get a lookout, sir? Being uh, being minus one to hit, I would imagine so. So we'd be plus one, minus one, minus one again. So I'd be on a three instead of a two. I hit. And then it wounds on a two plus. Wounds, and it's minus two to your save. So whatever your armor save is, minus two, I believe. So plus one save for being in the tower. So you can roll a six. No. And it's d6 wounds. So four wounds. So four shrugs. Three shots. Nice, one wound. All right, so then the Judicators are gonna shoot the same target. So the Prime is gonna hit on twos, minus one to hit for threes, and then these guys will hit on fours, minus one to hit for threes. They're all ones against Chaos units. Uh, thankfully, because the important arrow didn't hit. So these will go away, and this uh, bursts into D6 arrows for one. So two wounds on three plus, one at minus one. So just five up, because you're plus one, minus one. Last. All the bullets, they do nothing. All right, well, that was our arriving. Let's do some charging. I'm gonna do Andrasta. She makes it and goes, hello, doggos. And then we're gonna do these big boys. They're gonna try and charge and they can reroll charges the turn they arrive. They go nine, which is what we wanted. So we're gonna go nine, throw ourselves into this unit, but then we're gonna pick the Bile Piper to be the thing that we do our impact hits against. Well, nine dice, every four plus is a mortal wound. And we'll see if we just tackle him out of the tower. Five, nine, fours. So he takes just four, four mortal wounds, four shrugs. Well, just four, he just, just, four. just four left. Five up, just roll one five. One, he's one got five. one left. All right, so picking someone to fight first, we are going to pick the... Well, first off, I need to do the... Um, well, I guess you, you pick first, because I need to do the who they're inspiring with their song and... Oh yes, I don't know, is it start a phase? Then you would pick first. You know, start a combat phase declaration, so you can definitely pick what your songs are gonna be and all that stuff. So, Bile Piper? So Bile Piper is going to play uh, early one morning, uh, early one evening, my pustule was seeping, and he's gonna play it onto the... Um, Annihilators? Drums. Oh, the play drones, cool. And what does that do? Uh, when they make a six to hit, it does a mortal wound in addition. Nice. All right, um, so then anybody else doing yeah. sort of round stuff? The Scrivener? Yeah, so... Okay, so the Scrivener is going to cast, uh, or he's going to do the um, studied lacerations onto the Plague Bear unit, just in case they get into combat, they're going to get minus one an extra minus one rent to their weapons. Sweet. All right, well, we're gonna pick a unit to fight and we're going to pick the Annihilators to go first. Uh, they're not even gonna bother piling in because they're already touching whoever they wanna touch, uh, but we are going to all at attack with them because it's a new phase. Going down to one CP. And the Prime and one of the dudes is gonna attack the uh, Plague Drones. This fellow is gonna attack the Bottle Viper. Nice, minus one to hit. So he's hitting on fours, but he gets to reroll ones because he's a Celestial Vindicator on the charge. So it hits twice, and then wounds on threes. One wound at minus one, so you're on a five on plus. Minus one, yeah. five plus. Because you're covered. Laughs, oh, he's gonna live. <laughs> and then I'll have seven attacks, which includes the prime attack, into the drones, hitting on, not minus one to hit now, so, unless they have some kind of built-in minus one, not picked in. No. So threes, oh, sorry, twos actually. Uh, and then they all hit. Threes to wound. So that's three at minus one. Nope. Go to sixes. So six damage. Three, six. Disgusting resilience. And make two. Hot. Make two. Okay. Can try again if you want, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Keep going. Go flat. There you go. Okay, passed. So three. Three. You got two left. And then it's your pick. Grab pound the beasts. Mm -hmm. So I'll just come up to there. They'll come around like so. And let's have Achi. Okay, swing on Indrasta. So we'll do the claws and maws. Uh, she's gonna spend her, a last CP of the turn for an all at defense. Okay. As she hasn't received an order yet, this phase. The punches. All right, so beasts, we're gonna do all, all the attacks of the beasts into Indrasta. Indrasta. Yep. So it's gonna be, with the claws and maw, it's going to be eight attacks. Hit it on fours, one on threes. Fours. 
One, two, three. Three, four. four. Sure. Oh, no, that's, that's a three. three. Yep. And then wounding on Threes. three. So one, two. two. Minus, minus one. Minus one plus two, so she's still on two plus because she can net out at plus one. Pass, pass. Isn't done. Does uh, six attacks. Uh. Two, four, six. Uh, fours and threes. Fours and threes. Uh, one. one. And then three to wound. It's going to kill you. One. Minus. Minus nothing. Two plus. Great. All right, then. Let's go with some of these sweet, sweet praetors, because you were nice enough to bring them into combat. Oh, yeah. And they're going to go... Step on over here. Hi. Then step on into here. And step on up. And they'll have... Are you minus to hit at all? Nope. Seven attacks, threes and threes, minus one, two damage. So threes... Uh, they didn't charge, so it'd be nice if they had, because they could reroll those. And then threes again. Two at minus one. Two at minus one. Beasts have a save of five, so that's six. Save neither. So four damage. Two, four. And uh, Disgusting Resilience. Saves Take nine. four. Four damage, so it one's down to four. Each, man, they're tough. We've got the Bile Piper and the drones left. Got the drones. So can this guy... Oh. Highland this sure. way? Sure, yeah, you can go around, absolutely, yeah. You just have to stay as close to the closest unit now, oh, not model. Okay. So, that's, that's helpful. It is very helpful, yeah. And I think the third guy's probably not going to make it in, but you no, can definitely get the first two. Squares on top, yeah. So the champion gets plus one, and this is the champion here, so that's uh, two plus one for the champion. So fours and threes. Uh, one mortal wound. Okay. That missed. So One mortal wound? Yeah. So somebody's got two ends left. Okay. Two and soft. Proboscises, how many attacks? Proboscis, three attacks, threes so and fours. Six attacks, threes and fours. With uh, sixes but still being mortal. Sure. Two. And then force to wound. Force to wound. Any rend? Wound. Uh, rend, nope. Two plus. We're good. Venomous sting. Stang, stang, stang. Well, that's one hit. And threes to wound. Or wound. is it three to wound? Yeah. Any any rend? One rend. So three plus instead of two plus. No, yeah, take a wound. How much? Oh, sixty-three wounds. Hey. Two wounds. Kills him. Uh, so he's not within an inch of you, which means he does not explode. Actually, I'm lying. He's within an inch of Sloppy Wild Viper. This could kill you. So I get to roll three dice plus one because I'm a Thunderstrike unit, and if I roll a six, you take a mortal wound. Is it anybody or just the one that... Oh, it has to be the attacking model, actually. Yes, you're uh, right. It has to be the attacking model. That's why I right, did right, attack right. with the Ball Piper first. That makes sense. No, he's dead. Good to catch. So they're all done? Mm-hmm. Well, we'll go with Andrasta, and she's going to pile in this way. Hiya. yeah and I think she's going to stab... Ah! We'll stab the beast. Why not? It's going to be her four attacks with her super cool sword. Uh, she charged, so hang on twos. Well, super cool is kind of like an opinion. It's pretty cool, and then winning on twos. Uh, all wound. Well, all wound, yep. Yeah. So, four at minus three. <gasps> minus three, minus two. Uh, I did roll one six to hit, so I will take a mortal wound. Which I don't shrug, so nine to seven. So, I do still wound you four times, though. Okay. Four times, uh, save, minus two? Minus two. So I don't get anything. Oh. Okay, so it's, then it's 12 damage. So you get your shrugs 12 times? 12. Four, eight, 12. It's gonna actually kill them. Make one, <gasps> two. Oh, that's terrible, these dice. So one guy's got two ones left, and he explodes. So back to you, you got Bile Piper and the... Plague Bears. Plague Bears now, now yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna forgo these. You actually have to fight if you're able to. You're not allowed to not make melee attacks. Yeah, <laughs> melee attacks you have to make. But we're friends. I know. Although you might not actually be in range to make melee attacks because of your, your weapon range from the tower. So it, it might be that you can't anyway. So he's gonna use his command point that he gathered up. He's gonna use it for all out attack. Makes sense, yeah. the Plague Bearers. So you can do some punching. The Plague Bearers have, um, Minus one rend to they sure do, yeah. for that uh, for the, the tally who's giving them, and they're within seven of a hero, so they actually get plus one to their save, not to attack them, and that's it. Sweet, so plus one hit, so fours and fours I think go to three threes and fours maybe. That's right, you wound better. One, two, three, four, five. Times two. That's right. Five. Times two. Or times two. 
Oh, no, two each? I thought they were two each. No. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, one, one hit. two. You hit on threes? The three hit as well? No, I hit on fours. Plus one hit from all attack? Oh. So another one? That's one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For all these reasons. You're, you're the karma. Nothing you're karma pick up. <laughs> uh, and then it's just you left. I have nobody left. So your bio piper can go if he's in range. But I actually don't think he's... If, you're, if we're measuring from the actual model itself, I don't think... You oh, have yeah. to worry about it because you said you didn't want to attack, and yeah. no, no, it's from the miniature, not from the miniature, it's from the, the the hull of the okay. thing, basically. I based it, so I think it's a bit bigger than it should be. But it's, if you have a one like inch range, two then and a half inch. yeah, you're I think he's got a two inch range actually. With oh, his, crazy with, with his, his big kill stick. stick you want, so you're good because this is a one inch gauge, and I'm pretty sure from like the steps there, you're not within an inch, so you're fine. Make you fight, although you do, you actually, if you are able to fight melee now, you have to, you can't forgo your swings. You don't want a chance getting blown up, that, that makes sense. Um, so that's in a round. I have one, two zones with leaders because we finished normal move on top of them. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. So scoring, uh, score one, score two, score more. Five, hold one, hold two, hold more, plus my battle tactic. And it's into round two. Priorite, does the season change first, the start of the battle round? Yeah. So it goes to six now. Which is rampant disease. Uh, D3 units uh, within 12 of each other, D3 mortal wounds each. All right, so you pick where? Uh, well, first I have to do the, the D3, three, yeah. D3 units, so there's one. one unit, and we'll do... The Praetors? The sure. And they take D3 mortal wounds? Yes, they take three. Oh, so kills a guy. Blam. Uh, so that guy's dead. All right, so now we dice to see who's going first. Uh, I got a three. You got a one. <laughs> Yay! So I get to go again. Um, so, start of turn. Uh, first things first, I'm going to pick my tactic for the round. Do broken ranks this round, pick a battle line unit from your army and try and destroy it. Broken ranks. Um, and then start round heroic action. Uh, Indras is going to heroic recovery. She passes her test. She heals the wound that was on her. Uh, you could choose to do one as well. You could heroic yeah, recovery on him. So, whatever his bravery is, roll 2d6. If you tie it, you heal one. Are you eight or ten? You're ten, ten aren't you? Ten. So, you heal d3. And you heal two. Two. So you go back to three. All right, start of the hero phase. Indrasta gets to bring a guy back. So she'll bring a Praetor back in this unit. Whoop. And then she'll bring a uh, Annihilator back in this unit. Bloop. And then it's the rest of my hero phase. Uh, Wizard the first. We're going to do. I'm going to have to pick a battle line unit I'm going to kill. Mm, who do I think I can kill? I think I can kill this one. And I'm going to pick them to die. So we're going to cast uh, Celestial Blades from my Lord Arcanum onto this unit of Spear Guys. It goes off with the sevens. Plus one damage to their melee weapons. Five, so it goes off. And the Vexlor is going to go, and he's going to cast Mystic Shield on Andrasta on an eight. Ten, Ten goes away. Stop. All right, so I think that's my hero phase. Let's start moving. Uh, and we're going to go with these idiots. They're going to move up there five, get in the war, so going up five, like so. Uh, this unit of Vindictors is going to do much the same thing, just staying inside of three of you, if I have to. Standing in nice healthy triangles, because that is the way of this game now. So Lord's just going to be like, uh, yeah, hey, so, uh, don't come near me. Right, these guys are in melee. Knight Arcanum is going to move, he's going to stay where he is, actually, but we're going to send the Lord Impuritant this way. Yeah, he'll actually go up in the middle. These guys will just dip forward slightly. Then end of my, um, whatchamacallit, end of my, uh, movement phase, we're going to bring in this unit of... Big boys, and they're gonna try and show up. I think over here is probably gonna be best. Outside of seven, but we'll be within ten of. Yep, yeah, so we're good. Within ten of both these units. Four plus for D3 mortals. Nope, four plus on the unit I'm trying to kill. No, nope. could have gone better. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wind up our hammer in the shooting phase and do D6 shots, threes and threes, minus one, one damage, but sixes to hit are a um, double damage from the Lord Imperial's hand. He gets it. Uh, he's going to all it attack in order to make these on twos instead of threes. Twos! So we do two mortal wounds, and then we hit twice, and we wound once. So one save, and then two mortal wounds on top of whatever this damage is. And this is oh, sorry, actually it's three saves. We have to make two separately because they're two damage. That's what it was. Not, not, they're not mortal wounds, actually. Okay. So one regular save at minus one. Minus one, so that's a save on a six. And then two more saves at minus one that are double damage. 
So you pass one, that was important. So three damage total, so three shrugs. Nothing. So three dead. Take uh, the close ones if you can. Yeah, I don't want to do the standard pair going, but... And then he's going to shoot at the um, Sloppy Wild Piper. So four shots plus a prime. Your minus one hit because you're in a tower, so hitting minus on... Minus one for lookout, sir? So look at it, sir. It's, uh, uh, yes, that, that would, uh, so it caps at minus one. Okay. So it's going to be um, on fours for the regular guys, threes for the prime. Reeling ones because you're chaos. And then those both miss. So this one turns into d6. Four, so six hits total. Wounding on threes. Oh, uh, one. One at minus one. <laughs> so one regular armor save. Yeah. Uh, no. Five up. So he takes one. Five wound shrug. Oh, sloppy has a four, four plus. Four plus, oh, never mind, sorry. He's yeah. one of the, oh, the character's all fours, that's right. I think that's all my shooting, so let's do some ch ch, -ch charges Oh, the important one over here. What you got, big boys? Uh, you need to probably get a eight now. Yeah, you need an eight. So hard rolling an eight, 2d6, we can re-roll because we arrived this turn. We get a seven, re-rolling. Good thing I pulled out that standard bearer. Eleven. Oh, it didn't matter. All day, air day. So we're gonna go this plus three, and just pile into the middle of this unit, keeping everybody else out. That's 11 dice on 4 plus for Mortal Wounds from the Tackles. Might just obliterate the unit one go. Here's hoping. 4 plus. Well, hopefully your wounds will stay sticky. Uh, hit him with the horns, Tony. Uh, take... That was terrible. Just 4 Mortal Wounds. 5 Mortal Wounds. You take 2. These aren't hit rolls. These are impact hits from uh, charging. Okay. So just 5 Mortal Wounds. 5 shrugs. Haven't actually attacked yet. But you pass 2. So 3. For guys to... Yeah, you won't get me that's on a 3, I don't think. Okay, so we'll just... Take three closer. We'll go with these jabronis. They're gonna charge into hopefully this big mass and get snake eyes. I'll use my once per turn. Oh no, I used it actually already for my um, all attack. I should have two, so I'll go down to one now to do the uh, reroll charges. I get ten. So we're just gonna pile into this unit of plague bearers. Going ten. And then these two are just gonna go to the back and go fight that beast in Urgle. Other unit of Indictors, the ones with the damage two weapons, are going six. That should be more than enough to start getting in the war. They pile in. Praetors are already in combat. I could charge with the Imperitans. I'll just roll and see what he gets. Six, he's not going anywhere. Uh, and I don't think he is either. You're happy where you are. Everybody else is in melee. That is all my charges. And I think we're on to start a combat. You can declare your Bile Piper and your Scrivener. Yeah. Same I things? Yeah. yeah. So they're going to get the plus one. Uh, uh, six, is, six cost mortals. Yep, six cost mortals. Sweet. And, and there's no rolls for these. Eh? It just happens. That's awesome. It just happens, yeah. And then his Scrivening is going to be... Uh, so there's um, attack, rend, or save. Actually, I'll save just because his Locust is there, which is nice. Yeah, so I think we're going to go with the rend. I think I just want to cause some, some damage. Smart. I think we go with these dinguses first and try to make the murders. So we're gonna do the exact same thing as before. We are going to throw three from him into the wall and then from the other guys into the drones. So it'll be seven into the drones, three into the bile piper. Oh, hold on. Oh, an attack. Uh, so they get twos to hit. So twos uh, goes to threes though, because you are in a tower. Two hits and then threes to wound. One at minus one. So that's a fi uh, five plus save. Got it. And laughing. And it was a four plus save because you were in a tower, actually. So then seven into the drones. Right. Don't reroll ones anymore, but they hit wait, on twos. Wait, wait. Until oh, and I, take, and I take four, four mortal wounds back. Yep. So I'm going to lose a guy when this is all said and done. Two guys. I take three wounds each. Oh. Freeze to wound. So four at minus one. Six up saves now from the minus one. So okay. eight damage. So eight shrugs. Eight shrugs for the bugs. Two, four, six, seven, eight. One fives. Pass one, two. two. So six wounds. Six wounds. That so a guy pops, him. and he's got what? Two left. Uh, so five each. Two. And so the five each. So three. three remain. So he'd go to two left. Two left. Yeah. Five kills the whole guy, and he'll die. Shoot. And this jabroni is gonna have two wounds left. But he does explode, not from an enemy attack, actually. So he, I don't think he actually blows up. Actually can blow up on your Bile Piper. It's not actually from an attack, it's just if I'm slain within one inch of the enemy, then I, I blow up. So I'm, I am gonna put them on the Bile Piper and see if I can blow up on him. 
No. It doesn't need to be from an attack, it's just if I'm slain within an inch. So, as long as I'm within an inch of the tower, I could blow up on him. But that's my attacks, uh, it's back to you. We're gonna go with these guys, they're gonna pile in. Try and maximize their swings. They've all got, what was this from the rend? Yeah. Sweet. Let's do it. All right, so let's start on this unit over here. So, we have a... Champion, champ yep. Champion. One, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Attacks. Threes. Fours and threes. Looks like four hits. Not too bad. And then threes to wound. Threes to wound. Uh, yeah, with, the, with a minus one rend. One. <gasps> so four plus armor. Nope, take a wound. And we're gonna wound the up close guys here, obviously. Yeah. And we'll do one, two, three on a Drusta. Okay. Getting on threes. And then wounding on threes. Sorry, fours and then threes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Just two hits, he hit, yep. Yeah. One wound. Yeah. Minus one, so four plus. Nope. Does it go to the Praetors? Nope, enough? it goes to her. Uh, they're within three. Okay. And then does it get blocked by her ward? It does, so no damage. Uh, six okay. guy, actually six it looks like, oh yeah, because you did that one into Andrasta, didn't yeah. you? So one, two, three, four, five, six into the other unit. Six. Threes. One, Oof. two. My god, these and dice. Three spoons. Hopefully they get warm up on the second half. That's one. Pass one, fill one. So, guy takes a wound. And again, we'll put it on a guy who's stuck in deep. All done. So, we'll go with the Praetors. They're going to pile in. Attacks on that poor beast in Urgle. So, seven attacks. Uh, nine attacks, sorry. Ten attacks because there's a champion. Hit on threes. You want to go 11? Or? I'm going to go to 11 if I like. Uh, not minus one to hit. And then I take two, three mortal wounds. Yes. And then wounding on threes. Uh, one, two, three. And then four, five, six. So one of my guys dies. So six mortal wounds? Oh, uh, so six wounds? Six wounds, yep. Okay, beasts are five plus. Any, any rank? Minus one. So sixes? Sixes and minus one. Oh, wow. So there we go. three. Four, six damage. Okay, back again. And five plus. Take three. It's enough to kill him. Okay. And then this guy blows up, but he's not within an inch of the enemy. Back to you. You've got drones, Biopiper, and, and Scrivener. Scrivener, and then this unit of guys in the back. They're not going to be able to get in there. Right? That was the plan. <laughs> that was the 11 inch charge was nice. Going to go with the Spoilpox. He's got uh, two attacks with threes and threes. Okay. One hit. Again. No. Nope. Wow. Well then, I guess we go with these guys. <laughs> Do their 10 attacks. So 10, 11 because of the prime. 3, 6, 9, 11. Yep. 10. No. 10 because of the prime. Hit on threes. Three rolling ones because we charged and we're Celestial Vindicators. Huh. So I take one mortal wound. I was hoping for more than that. And then wounding on threes. Apparently I can't seal the deal with wounding now. Yeah. That's been my problem so far. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and minus one. So save on sixes. Six plus. Bang. That uh, one does. Save two. Save two. So that's eight damage. Eight to five up shrugs. You could live through this. I could. I could. I really could. Two, four, six, eight. Five plus. You gotta make five of these. Not even close. Mm, two. So yeah, six. So they're gone. Give my battle tactic, which takes me to seven. Back to you. So you've got. Okay, so Big uh, arcane bolt is gone. Uh, no, you haven't had a hero phase yet. You can use it to start the battle track phase still. Playing drones. Playing drones, so they're gonna snuggle over and move in. And you had two left, not one. Yeah. yeah. Champion is standard. So that's uh, the, the. Whoops. Three attacks. And sixes are mortals. You got it. Because you're scribing her. No, the sloppity. Sloppity about Piper, sorry. Yeah. So it's only one hit. One hit. Regular hit. Three to wound. Three to wound. No, of course. And then that was that's the Probis guy. Two more attacks because of the so Locust Contagion. That was a mortal wound. Mortal wound and regular wound as well. Save of minus anything? Uh, no. Oh, okay. no, no. I roll a three, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Even if it was minus one, I'd be okay. So eight attacks now because of the Locust Contagion. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So, uh, so two, two more mortal wounds. So another guy's going to die. And they hit on fours. Was it fours and threes? No. Threes and fours. So okay, so now it's fours to wound. So those still miss, yeah. So, so you've done three mortal wounds total for these attacks. And fours. So just one, one more wound. wound. So one save at minus anything? No. Two plus. No, take another wound. So I take four wounds total. 
So it's going to kill this guy. He'll have one wound left. Yeah, I still have the venomous stings. And I explode. So uh, do your venomous stings. Just see if that kills the last guy. One, two, three, four venomous stings now with the locus of contagion. And that's uh, two hits. Two wounds. Minus. Minus one. Pass both. So four dice blowing up on the bile piper. Actually, sorry, four dice blowing up on the drones. Sixes. Do a mortal wound on the way out. So it goes down to one. Sorry. All right, you shrug it. Never mind. All right, then. That looks like them. He's now at a range. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's over to me. And we're going to go with, I guess, these guys. They'll pile in. Just putting everybody within two. That's going to be two, four, six. Actually, sorry. I could put two, four, six, seven guys into the the Scrivener, which is what we're going to do. So seven is 14 attacks. Champions are for 15. Now the problem is when I do mortal wounds to you, you do mortal wounds to me. This is going to be bad. So uh, let's see what happens. Minus one to hit. Yep. Because there are more than 20 on the Plague Bear unit. Okay. Or more than 10, rather. I'm not hitting the Plague Bear unit. I'm hitting the Scrivener. Oh, right. Scrivener. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. So, so minus nothing. So three is rerolling ones. Uh, rerolling ones. So he's going to take four, three mortal wounds, but so am I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm just going to get a big die to mark how many mortal wounds we're giving each other. So are there's three. <laughs> yeah, it's just bile everywhere. Um, and then these ones rolled a wound so on threes. Here, so, three mortal wounds. so he has to make four, eight, nine saves. Not a problem. Six, nine. Gotcha. Rent? Oh, minus one. Minus one, so he's saving on a five. So five plus. Not too, Not too bad. Save. Oh, I guess, yeah, shabby. So plus Six. plus three mortal wounds, he has to make nine shrugs. Nine shrugs, okay. Oh, I'll just all the dice back again. Yep. On fives. And he's got only five wounds, so this could. This could potentially kill him. You gotta make five of these to live. This could be the you end. Make no, it makes two. two, so he's dead. And then my three mortal wounds will kill. Never got to sneeze on you. Will kill these two guys. So they're going to explode, and they're going to wound because this guy had one wound, this guy had two. They're going to wound this unit because they're both within an inch. So that's going to be six more chances at mortal wounds on sixes on the way out. That unit takes one mortal wound. Boom! No, nice. not. These three guys get to attack now, and that's six more attacks into the unit. Now the unit's going to be minus one to yep. hit because they're plague bears. So that's on fours. Rerolling ones because of the charge. Uh, so you take a mortal, I take a mortal. And then wound does. So one more save at minus one. And then one mortal wound okay. on both of them. Minus those. one save, save on a six. Wow. And then the mortal wound. Oh, yep. shrug? No. So I'll wound this idiot. All right, so they're all done. So now it's this unit attacking you. Uh, that'll be 21 attacks because they're already in range. Uh, hitting on fours, wounding on threes, minus one, two damage though, because it's such a blood. It's not a wound, not plus one damage, I'm an idiot. I'm glad I looked it up, because otherwise I'd be rocking completely the wrong effector. Um, it's, I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm thinking of the Burning Blades, which is the bespoke spell gets plus one damage, but it's only to the caster. So, it's gonna be 21, some mortal wounds again, so here's the first 11, hitting on, uh, fours, rerolling ones. Ooh, rerolling ones. So, it's three mortal wounds bouncing between the two of us. Mark it there. I got it. Okay, uh, sure. And then, will they go away as far as hits go? And then that's going to be forced hit, so just three hits total. And then the second roll, three hits plus one more mortal wound. No ones to re-roll. So six hits total. Winning on twos. So five at minus one. Five minus one, yep. None. And then shrugs times nine. Four. Plus four, yeah, so nine shrugs total. Five's a shrug. Three. Three. So six dead. And then two of my lads are slain. Five, six. And we're gonna take these two. Oh, geez, actually we're gonna take this one. And then, so we're not going here and see this one. So only one of them is going to actually blow up into you. It's three dice looking for sixes for more mortal wounds. No, nothing. Uh, and that's both my units done. So it's just Indrasta left, and she's going to hit the unit. Hitting on threes goes to fours because you're stinky. Is there still 20? Just four. They're fresh. Uh, one, two. Uh, wounding once. So one at minus two. No safe. So just three damage. Looking for shrugs. 
Nope, so three more. That looks like the round. Uh, and so I'm gonna score hold one, hold two again, hold more for three, and I wiped out that battle line unit for five, which puts me at 10 overall, and it's bottom of two. In one for having a general alive on the battlefield, you'll gain one and go to four for also having a general alive on the battlefield. Yeah, I'll have to start remembering to use those things. All right, so uh, your hero shock. phase. Oh, that's right, battle shock. So did you want to unleash your thingy? You could kill a guy here. He's got one one left. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so he gets smashed. Boom. And blows up into your unit. Uh, doesn't kill anybody. It leaves this guy to coherency, so he goes away too, which is handy. And then my... I don't make any battle shock tests within 12 Vindrasta, so I'm fine. And you've got to make them at what's your casualty rate for this turn? D6 plus nine, so basically D6 minus one casualties, I guess. Yeah, or if I roll a one, I can get D6 back. You can, that's right. So let's see what happens. So just CP them, don't make a test. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Three. Right. I, I need yes. them there. They laugh. Uh, the drones can't fail, so it's your hero phase. Mm -hmm. So we'll start off. Broken ranks me? Yeah. Which one do you want to do? So you could pick this is bottle line, this is bottle line, and their bottle line. Oh. Has to be a bottle line unit for my army. So it's one of these three. Okay, we'll do we'll do these guys then. Do them. Okay. Yeah. Broken ranks. And then heroic action for you. Kill the Bob Piper. Yeah, sure. super important. Yeah, I've killed I've killed the scribe now, so definitely important. I've yeah. lost my chance to kill him. Uh, Seven, you're good uh, no matter what. So D3, get three yeah. back, goes to full. Action for me, I'm gonna try and make a command point with Andrasta on a four. Nope. Um, Magies. Magic, magic, yeah. We're going to cast um, Plague Wind from the Grand and Clean one on a 7 plus. Go for it. On a ten. 10. And what does that do? 14 inches straight line. Any units cross, take D3 mortal wounds. Nurgle units heal D3 mortal wounds. Ooh, but they five. don't come back to life, yeah. Yeah. They okay. Heal, yeah, so, so. so do I try and get rid of that on a 10? I don't think I have a chance of getting rid of it, so I'm just going to have to take it. So go ahead and I guess you're just going to hit them. You might hit the Praetors too, actually. Instead of the Praetors. Yeah. Okay. So D3 model wins on the, ah. yeah, just, move, just move out of the way, it's, it makes it easier to measure. One. one. Big one. So he's got one left. That was hardly worth all that uh, build up. Guy. This guy. There's one more and so does the Pox Bearer. You'll do Mystic Shield on the Plague Bearers. Makes sense. Eight. Eight. I'll try and get rid of that one because I have two cast slot or two spells left. Nope, goes off. So they get a sweet, sweet Mystic Shield. Do a um, Arcane Bolt. Sure, charge up a bolt. Makes sense. Nine. Yeah, I'll try it because my last dispel. Eleven. Hey, the Vexilor. All right. Points in the hero phase. Sure. It's D three plus four right now because I don't have anybody in your deployment. Oh no, wait. Uh, no, I don't think they're over the line. These guys are in your territory, so it's D three plus three. So four. So you go to <laughs> nine. A little sicker. <laughs> going for it. All right. So here's the plan. So we are going to. Run with the plague bearers. Try and get towards my Vexilor. Mm -hmm. so they're going three, three, so seven. Seven. Stand outside of three of Mr. Annihilator. Flies to stand put. We're going to move that and we're going to bring. He actually can't move through it. It's not uh, It's not old GW okay. for us. You have to move around it and then charge like over this next turn. Wait, yeah, so you'll be fine. Can run. Sure. <laughs> five. Look, look at that bulk. He is not used to running. This, oh. is, this, is, not, this is not a CrossFit body. There you go. He's got a dad bod extraordinaire, grandfather Nurgle bod. Yeah, there, you there you go, so it's three. Dad bod. Charger, get him in. And then you got some flies that can move. And of course, this guy's saving his CP to throw himself onto the zone, hopefully. I believe the proper terminology is run like the Dickens. <laughs> That's right. The Dickens out of people. The Dickens. You will beeline, just oh, yeah, go six automatically. You, you have to declare that yeah, before. Yeah, you declare before you roll now. So he just goes 10. It almost makes it. Super close. Yeah, yeah, just Try and stay away from any guys there, get any funny ideas. Makes sense. Piper's gonna pop out and end up not within three. She's gonna go in behind outside of six just to get there for next turn. And I think that's movement. Everybody else is in combat. And in the movement phase, you wanna spend any points to bring on any trees? Drop a tree in. Yeah. Let's go down to two. And that way you speed up your points for next turn. All right, uh, any other moving? Looks like everybody's gone. So guns, you can spit and shoot. Little Hitting death's the, heads. The annihilator. Hitting on. Fours, so believe. one hit, it's ruined. No, not even Doesn't end. You got these guys, can also death side me? Yes. Three shots this time, two hits. Oh, uh, actually I think it's only melee characteristics that I get plus one for with my Locust Contagion. Oh, gotcha. Attack. So there's two. Yeah, because the heroes get to do it again. So you'd actually get two, two more over there, there. Yeah. and so then just finish this one first, so three yeah. more shots. So there's two hits. Three uh, hits three total. Hits. And then threes to wounds. Two. Two, two plus saves. Pass, pass. And then over there you get two more shots. Yeah, because your Locust Contagion goes off. And 
wounds. Three to wounds. Wounds. Do I save? Yes. I mean, your shooting attacks also get plus one from your heroes, which is pretty cool. A bar for the unclean one. So D6 attacks. Sweet. I'm going to, uh, when I get targeted, use my free once per turn to give them all at defense. So four attacks. Uh, threes and... I don't want to die. No, I'm probably not going out. And then... Nothing? Might wound on twos. It is barf. The mods? Any rend? Uh, rend is minus two. So uh, three plus, sorry, two plus goes to four plus. Nope. How Nine much damage? damage? One. One damage. Kills this guy. And then he explodes into the unit. Uh, blows up Thunderstrike for sixes. Does a mortal wound. So a shrug on your plague bearers. Nope. nope. You got one. I'll just land right here so we remember. All right, uh, shooting and then the, the death's heads. Oh, we did the death's heads there. Charge. So you could go with your plague bearers and that dude if you want to long bomb it. And then of course your drones over here and you're gonna clean one. Yeah, they got a chance. So do we'll it. To plague bears. Get done. No. Four new. No. You do have the CPs to reroll one of these charges overall. <laughs> no, I'm not, not, not gonna worry about that one. Okay. You could try for the character. I don't know how dangerous he is, but he's not bad. But I have a feeling yours is worse. I'm super, I'm pretty super dangerous actually for a guy with a flag. You got a great unclean one. Yeah. Let's, let's, Roll up three. This, this, this is the one just in case. He oh gets yeah. Ten. So you could go like around to here if you want. What? And getting closer to your tough guys? I'm. I'm, I'm I mean, you're tougher than I am. <laughs> it's. I'm just mean closer to the zone too, so you can put your body on it. Charge, you think you do the impact hits? Yeah. Is it a four plus or a two plus? Blubbery bulk, I think it's four plus D3. Four plus D3. For the plus, for the impact hits. Get some D3 damage. Three. Yeah. All right, so another guy dies, another guy takes some wounds. Uh, we'll kill a guy within an inch of you, try and do some wounds to you. And we'll wound the banner, I guess. Uh, so three chances of mortal wounds. Ah, take two mortal wounds there, Mr. Good Unclean One. Takes two, down to 14. This unit's not, not super healthy yet. <laughs> All right, and then you got your drones. Yep. Who else you want to go in? Six. All your charges, yeah. So start of the combat phase, you can pick your So we're going mortal to wounds again. Piper for the, um, yeah, sixes are mortal wounds. I just think it's, you know, get rid of that guy for show. Makes sense. And they are inspired. They're getting plus one save for being close to the great unclean one. And uh, pick a fighter. First, try and kill the Thunderstrike guy. Yeah. Makes sense. Probiscus is, you get plus no, one no, attack. So it goes three to attacks because it's uh, two for him, one for him. And then plus one each because plus you're near the guy. The Locust Contagion. Yeah. So five attacks. And no, hitting on four. You got it, yep. Uh, I gotta remember to think about that. There's one six for Mortal one's, Wounds. Yeah. Uh, One wound. One wound, okay. So the wound on minus anything? Uh, no. Uh, passes? Yes. Rest of your attacks. So I've taken one more to win so far. Six plus the one for the Locust Contagion. Probiscuses. So threes and fours. Uh, mortal wound. So two mortal wounds now. And that's... Uh, Oh, actually, I don't think I've rolled because I put that aside. Okay. So, yeah, so there's uh, three more saves. Three, three saves and a mortal wound. Okay, yeah. so three saves at minus. Nothing. I'm passing everything. And then. Stingers. Stingers. Thanks, thanks. So you have, you have. You have your mortal wounds marked? Yeah, two, right okay. there. And then. Oh. Four mortal wounds? Blam! And then. One wound. D minus two. Minus two. Four up. Take another wound. So I've taken oh, five that's wounds total. D three. Oh, D three. So I've taken seven wounds total. Unfortunately, cycle the storm won't let me keep this guy alive because I needed to take like one wound to live. So he's gonna explode. But he might kill you back. Four dice. Looking for sixes. No. All right. Well, I get to go now, which is sweet. Um, I could try and bracket this glade unclean, which is what I think I'm gonna do. And they're just gonna pile in. To a nice big triangle. Like me, and we'll do all of our attacks into him. So that'll be eight goes to nine on threes. Yeah, because not my one to hit for him. Oh jeez, uh, not that it matters because I'm terrible at rolling. But I do do three mortal wounds to you and take three mortal wounds back. That's good. And no wound. So 
You take three, I take three. So two of my guys are gonna die, and then you're gonna take three wound shrugs. That's right, I'm gonna take an extra mortal wound if you roll sixes here. None, you shrug one, so you go to 12, and then two of my guys die, and I have to roll six dice to see if you take even more mortal wounds on sixes. No, but these two idiots die. Worth a try as the wounds bounce everywhere. Pile in around her this way. Pile in a little tighter. Yeah, pile a little tighter. Make some there. stabs. And um, he could loosen up a little bit just to be able to get this guy in. Okay. So it looks like you got five into Indrasta, unless you want to split more into the Vindictors. Vindictors? Yeah. So we'll do one, two, three, four into the Vindictors. Um, I guess you're just going to go all out attack. Okay, so this is your all out attack, hitting on plus one now, so that means you're hitting on, I think, threes? One, two, three, four against the Vindictors, hitting on threes. Okay. And threes and threes. And... Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. And you're not wholly within seven of the hero. That, that helped. Yep, and then threes again. <laughs> Nothing. So then, who, yeah, I think two guys over here, and then whatever's into Andrasta. Right. Guys, um... Threes and four? Threes and threes, sorry. Threes and threes. That's one hit. And they're at all at defense, sorry. One wound. For my last CP. And... <laughs> fail. Take a wound. And then, so we did one, two, three, four, so we have one, two, three into Andrasta. Okay. So threes and threes. One. Wow. And three again. My dice have been awesome. Hi, yeah, we're good. All right, well, let's do the annihilators. I'm gonna put 10 attacks into your drones. No, on threes, ones and twos go away. I take uh, four <laughs> mortal wounds, so one Ouch. somebody's gonna die at the end of this. And then threes to wounds. You take six saves at minus one, so six six ups. Six will save. So That's one, one, so you take 10 damage. Two, four, six, eight, Ten, five ups. You got it. Pass two, two of them. So eight. So eight. Kills and one. then my, and my one guy blows up, and the guy takes a wound. Do I cause any mortals? No. The guy's gonna get popped, so and you lose one too. And one guy's got three wounds left. It's you. Yeah, you can call me Chubsy Ups. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. You need to do four or less damage to them. Knock <laughs> down on threes. So let's just go down the thing here. So Noxious Battle, no. Plague, so Plague Fail, we'll start off with three attacks, threes, and wounding on uh, twos. Threes and twos. Threes and twos. Whoa! What? It might be okay. What? Twos. Hey! Rest your attacks. Get them, Nerglings. Oh, wow, Sword. Sorry, that was your Muck Talon. The Plague oh. Fail. Now is the Muck Talon. Okay. So the bile sword is um, sword. How many attacks? Three. Big sword is uh, yeah. At, oh, Han, he's at um, four wounds now, right? Yeah. So he's gone. He's still at three three attacks. Okay. So it's gonna, yeah. Three, two, and then threes again. One, minus minus uh, two. It's two. So I got two plus goes to four plus. Nope. How much damage? Three. Three, so exactly enough to kill them, but, but then I cycle of the storm and bring that guy back with one wound. And he's gonna die from the Nurglings. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's got one wound. And then, but, 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 I'm gonna do, uh, well, when this is done, I'll do my my damage. So go, see if the Nurglings kill him. Nurglings! Oh, two hits. How many attacks? Three. Three, three attacks, three. Uh, five and five. Okay, five wounds. Oh. Two, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, two plus armor. Things. Two plus armor. Okay. Ah. One wound. Uh, and this guy's slain, so you take again three shots at mortal wounds. No. You kill him, but cycle the start. No, I know. Alive. I mean, the more effective, more effective. <laughs> right. We're going to pile in with the Praetors now and go ask you a question. These seven attacks, three plus one for prime. Let's say three plus one for prime. Hit on fours because you're stinky. Is there 20 guys left there? It's just more than 10. More than 10? Okay. Yeah. Threes goes to fours. Uh, so two mortal wounds on me. And then threes to wounds. One at minus one. Six. Two, six. Two damage. Two damage. Oh, that was two mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. And two yeah, dead. Two dead. And then I gotta take two wounds, but I got one left on this guy. 
So you've got uh, that unit left, I think. Mm -hmm. Plus one attack, because your locust is in range. Legion Street is just killing me, by the way. <laughs> Plague swords, fours and threes. <laughs> one, and then threes. I'm Minus rend. two plus. We're okay. And then the proboscis. It's proboscis attacks. Plus two more for the locusts. So eight. Threes? I think it's threes and fours, right? Yeah, I've hits. And then force to wound. Three. Three. Any mods? Mm -mm. Two plus. We're good. Stings. So one each, but plus one for the locust. So four. One hit. One hit. Uh, wounded. Two plus. Nope. Uh, but the minus one or minus two? Minus two. So no. damaged? No, no, sorry. Minus one. Minus so one. I'm fine. Two plus. All right, Indrasta, time to hit your plague bears. Minus one still. So threes go to fours for their sword. I missed completely. I'm all done. I think you're all done too. Uh, Battle shock. I can't fail over there because I'm an eight or a seven. You killed one. If I roll a one, I get him back. That's true. Nope. Who's here? Looks like he lost three. Two. Can't can't fail. But on a one, I get some back. That's right. So you still roll anyway. And then I'm immune within twelve of Indrasta, so I don't care. And you're going to get your. Actually, you won't kill my battle line, so no score for you this turn. Round three. Uh, the season advances. What's the season now? Uh, Nurgle units heal D3 wounds at the start of their hero phase. Sweet. All right. And let's see who's going first. Big bad bad you. Five to... Five. We tie, so it maintains. So I go, I go first. Okay. Well, uh, so your hero phase doesn't happen yet for your healing to go off. Uh, I have to pick a battle tactic, and I have to pick a... Um, what you call it? A, uh, a heroic action. I think we're gonna play bring it down and try and kill a monster this turn. I'm gonna pick this big fella because I feel like if I don't kill him, I'm in trouble. How I'm gonna kill him, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> so let's do some lucky other hero phase stuff. Yeah, well, we're starting to run out of storm gas. It's a big pile of dead ones. Uh, start of the hero phase, I'm going to recoup a guy. So she's gonna bring back a Praetor. She's gonna bring back a. Uh, I guess we'll do the uh, Prime over here. We'll bring back a Vindictor. Uh, we lost the other guys, unfortunately. Three command points to my two. Start of the round. And Heroic Action, I don't need to heal. I think I'm gonna try and make a CP with my Lord and Puritans, my General. I don't. I should have I should have done something else. I should have done Finest Hour, but that's okay. Um, so you could try and do the same. Or you could do Finest Hour for plus one to wound and save. You could do extra Dispel. Try and, or you can try and heal. Yeah, heal, but I mean... It's one to win and save? Yeah. Okay. Four plus? That's no, it's no roll. You just automatically get plus one to win and save for the rest of the turn. But you can do it once per battle. Uh, all right. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to attack with them last round. <laughs> Quickly do that at the end of the battle shock phase. I don't think it's going to matter, but I might have some extra tech. Guys, there should be one less guy here, so I'm not going to count him. Uh, so two, four, six, eight guys. Actually obligated to attack, which is important. Six... Eight and then because I'm killing you. Sixteen. More That's right. Passing all over. That's you. right. It's in the rules that I have to attack. So four is to hit. Uh, I don't take any mortal wounds though, which is nice. You don't also don't. I also don't do anything, so this is kind of irrelevant. I'm still celestial blades though, so twos, two saves, minus one. Uh, two saves, minus one, sixes, and, and then one damage. Hey, right, so one one less guy, and then this guy pops back in. Irrelevant for the mortal wounds. All right, rest of my hero phase stuff. Now that we've remembered that you hadn't fought, um, let's do some magic. Oh, I have to pick a battle tactic. Bring it down. Never mind. That's already done. Uh, let's cast some spells. Let's do. Let's say I don't know. Uh, Arcane bolt from the Lord of Canaan. Goes off with a six. Nope. Fails with a six. Sweet. So he gets an arcane bolt. Cool special rule called Prime Electrids. If I rolled a 10 plus, it would do D6 mortal wounds. But because I only rolled a less than 10 plus, it just does D3. He's extra good at casting arcane bolt. And then we'll cast, I don't know, let's say Mystic Shield on him. Mm. Over here, He's a big nine. Stick. So we've got some uh, Mystic Shield. I got it. stop everything. Don't have any. 10. It's got movement phase. All right, let's try and kill this monster. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to try. So these guys are already engaged. They can't really do jack to help me. But we're just going to move and move. Stay inside of three. 
Uh, they'll sit still, just ready to shoot some guns. These idiots are falling back because they weren't fans of getting murdered. I guess they could stay in. Would it really do anything? Not really. Nah, we'll just stay in. Uh, everybody else, what do you want to do? You just want to sit here and be like, whatever, come at me, bro. Go all the way to the back of the zone and be like, get over here. If you want me, come and claim me. Uh, and then, sorry, actually, uh, before the end of the movie phase, he's actually going to unleash his banner of apotheosis. He's going to target this unit of Vindictors, uh, and he's going to target them 3d3 times. So two, four, five, six, seven. I get three more guys back in that unit. Uh, and that unit is healed by one. Because I can't, I have to round. So they actually bring back a bunch of guys. Once per game, I might as well use it because I might die this round. So during my hero phase, I'll just remember to do that. All right, let's use some guns. Uh, we're gonna start with him. He's gonna fire his kill stick into the great and clean one for one shot. Uh, but it's two damage. Uh, does it wound? No. The adjudicators, they get their four shots plus a prime. Hitting on, uh, you're not minus one to hit, so threes and twos. Uh, that one misses. And then this one turns into d6. Six, so that's gonna be nine wound rolls on threes. Uh, make me six minus one saves. Two, four, six. Now I'm plus one to save, so I'm saving on a four. Minus one to save? Minus one to save, yeah. So, so finest hour basically just offsets Force. the minus one. Force. Take three, three shrugs. Whoops. Take two, 10. And then Drasta shoots her spear into this unit because I keep forgetting to do it. Threes, because you're minus one. Nope, fails. That looks like all our guns. Let's do some start of the charge phase. I'm gonna unleash my arcane bolt onto him. He takes two mortal wounds, two shrugs, Shrug pass one, fail one. And then we'll charge in. Uh, with Lord of Puritant, he goes nine. So he's gonna charge big. Actually, if I can charge nine, I'm charging this guy. <laughs> Pah! Surprise! Does the plot twist. And yeah. this guy, he's got seven wounds. He has to go 11. So I feel like I just charge around this way. If I can go 11, I can go nine plus two. Nine plus, I won't quite make it, but I could go stand over here be like way far away or I could just get in the war. I'll just get in the war. Uh, and that's all my charges. Uh, start of the combat phase, he's gonna unleash his hammer of fury for minus one to his saves but plus two to his attacks. And then I feel like I get to pick first so we're gonna go with these jabronis and they're gonna pile in again. So everybody's in range and we're gonna try not to all die stabbing your grand clean one. 11 attacks. Hitting on threes. Six has hurt both of us. <laughs> and do I all out with him? No, all out with the impure tent. Threes. So we take three, you take three mortal wounds. And then these wound on threes. Uh, make another five saves. Any rent? Minus one. But your plus one, so it's just move four plus. For your finest hour. So you take another three, so you take six total, six shrugs. On sixes, they come back to you again. Oh yeah. Oh, look at those sixes. So three sixes, uh, so and, six you take two, to you. and you take two total. Yeah. Six mortal wounds to me total. I'm gonna lose the front three guys. They're all gonna blow up into you and try and kill you back for nine more dice. Just exploding mortal wounds every direction. So if these are sixes, you take a mortal wound. Okay. You take three more mortal wounds. Which could also bounce back to me. And one does. <laughs> so one guy's got a wound, but you take two more. Six and a five, I thought it was a four. And somebody's got a wound here. Down to six. And I lose the front three. Good job, boys. You took him down to six. Try and punk the Laura Canum. Oh, he's, he's got to die. He's your last chance to get your... I can't give you any more victory points. You're too far ahead. Okay, anyway, I'm going to try and all defense. Okay. Ah! Uh, mmm! Do I? Yeah, I'll the one. Plus one to save and plus one to wound, so I can't have all attack too, can I? Uh, have you taken, you've, you haven't done any command abilities with him yet, you've just done a heroic action. You can do your monstrous ability at the end of the charge phase, you could have stomped somebody for d3 mortal wounds if you want to. Mm. You could also make someone not able to take command abilities on uh, right. three and you could demolish a thing. All these new things to remember. That's okay, did you want to do one of those right now? It's fine. You can pick, uh, yeah, a, let's pick a stomp. Him, let's give him d3 mortal wounds. Sure, two plus. Two plus to do it. 
No, nope, doesn't matter. It was moot. Yeah, All attack down All to two. Attack down to two. I need to. I need to do something here. So your uh, big sword still only hits on threes though, because it's already got a plus one to hit. But right. your flail will hit on twos, I think. Flail flail is plus one to hit. No, so hitting on twos. It'll hit on twos, but it'll wound on threes because he's so wounded. Yeah. So the twos all hit. Yep. All hit. And then threes to wound. Three, Want two, two wounds? Minus. Minus one to the save. Okay. So three plus becomes four plus. Pass pass. Sword. Boss sword hit on threes because it can't be plus two. It's only plus one. So two attacks. Threes. One hit. Boons, minus two, I think. Yeah. Nope, take two damage. Three. Three damage. Down to Nurgling's gonna finish him off. Nurgling's gonna finish him off. Choo, choo, choo. Oh, one. Nothing. Uh, oh, well, defense actually as well. Um, so he's done. Well, okay then. Let's go with, I guess you guys, you'll pile in. Matt. Matt, and then Matt, I'll be within an inch, and swing. And because of <laughs> all these strike backs, so 10 attacks. Goes to 11 because it's a prime. Hitting on three, six is killed both. Killed just me, actually, in this case. Oh my god, so two more mortal wounds, so a guy's gonna die. And then I hit you that many times. So two mortal wounds on me, and wounding on threes. Uh, that'll be five, six, seven at minus one. Seven, four pluses go to five pluses. Well, minus one. Plus my hero, uh, Oh, your arcane shield and you get plus one from being near him. Oh, sorry, I, I, I thought you were I'm, I'm so focused nope, on him. Yeah, just him? It's, it's just here. these guys? Uh, yes, they got the mystic shield. So, and they, so, and, they, and they get plus one from being close to him. Holy within seven? Yeah. I don't think you're holy within seven. I... Is it within seven or holy within seven? On four is your plus two minus one because it's not holy within seven. It's just within seven you get the plus and one. How seven. many saves am I making? Seven, please. Seven saves and four plus. Nurgle's number. You got it. No, Nurgle, two. Nurgle doesn't like these guys. So ten damage. Ten five ups. And there were no sixes in there, right? Yeah. No sixes. Uh, one, two, three, seven guys dead. Literally sevens. And then I have a guy explode. Four. So he'll do mortal wounds to you because he was within an inch, and you take two more wound shrugs from him dying. Two more shrugs. Pass one, fail one. It's one more. Back to you. They're all out of combat, so it's these guys or your pox bringer or your drones. Here, yeah, he's going step in the zone too. Yep, obviously. All right, so three attacks. <laughs> okay. Wow. Jeez. Uh, do you get rerolls for being near this thing or anything? Guess we go with Indrasta? <laughs> and you got less than 10 guys now, so I'm hitting on threes again. No sixes, and then twos to wound. Two at minus two, so you're plus two, minus two, so just your regular five up save. It's three damage. Save two, two so one die. And, one. and it's back to you, you got them and the drones. Drones gonna go. Drones on the zones. So these are the, the plague bears. And they're uh, still under the locust. Hitting, yep. Yeah, they're hitting on. Do you have two fours. more attacks? Yeah. Do you have two extra still from him being nearby? No, there's like two. That's with it? One okay. each. Got it. One, those the so extra. five total, got it. Yeah. Three's to wound. Three's to wound. Uh, no two rent. plus. Pass, pass. Okay. This guy, yep. So three, three, eight attacks total. Two more. For the locust. Uh, it's on threes and threes. fours. Yeah. So, four hits. And then four just to wound. One. Hey, uh, no. Oh. How much damage? Just one. Okay. And he's got two left. Stang, stang, stang. The big stings. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, hits with three. Three. And um, wounds on threes. Two. two. Minus one for this one, so three plus. Pass That's fail. D3. Two. two. Okay, so that guy's gonna die, but I'm gonna use Cycle the Storm to keep him alive with one wound. Nice. All right, go get him, Impuritant. You're going to make an all-out attack against him. You'll use your free command ability to do that, and that means you've got uh, six attacks instead of four with your hammer. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones because you charged. So you managed to take two mortal wounds to yourself. Good job. We'll go down to five. But I hit six times. Wounding on threes. Uh, so five at minus one. So I think your four plus goes to a five plus. Mm -hmm. Saved one. So eight damage. 
And that's eight wound shrugs. You save four, so you take four. I'm alive. Puppy goes. Puppy's got four attacks, hitting on threes goes to twos. Rerolling once because he charged this round. And then fours to wound. Four saves, just regular armor. Four plus armor. Take three, mm. and then five shrugs. He did. Bark, bark. Looking grim. So you've got these plague bearers left, and I've got my vindictors and my annihilators. Um, Just going in triangles. Yeah. You do three and three, or four and two. Four and two. So uh, one hit. Okay. And then wounds. Three plus. Nope. Take a wound. Uh, Andrasa gets hit twice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, once rather. It's wounded. Okay. Uh, does it get uh, through armor? No. All right. Well, let's go with the annihilators. They'll pile in, and they've got seven attacks. I'll probably die from hitting you if I roll any sixes. Uh, hit on threes. One six, so that guy is gonna die. And then wounding on threes. Just wow. two saves and minus one. Uh, that's two fails because no, sixes, fails, yeah. And so it's four damage, four shrugs. Uh, uh, one, one. <laughs> nice. But then I explode and do no mortal ones. So that oh. one wound guy's dead. Oh, still, you still did one wound. Yeah, I didn't do any extras yet. Uh, I think it's just me left. So he's gonna fight four attacks. Hitting on, he already did all defense, so he can't all attack, and we've spent the, that on him anyway. So, hitting on plus nothing, just threes to hit. Uh, can't reroll twos, and then threes to oh, wound. Six, right? Sure, yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, I think you're right, it was. Uh, three at minus one. So, so, three plus goes back to four plus. Yeah, three at minus one, so four plus, saved them all. And you're laughing. And that's all that she wrote. So, I'm gonna score. Well, I'm gonna take the, the mortal wound on him. Oh, sorry, yeah, he goes down to two. Bloop. And that's everybody. So I'm immune to battle shock. These guys took a bunch. I mean, they take this turn. Sorry, I still need to fight. <laughs> I keep forgetting about this unit. So two, four, <laughs> six, eight, nine. And they'll just pile into uh, there, so he's in range. Uh, so 18 goes to 19 attacks. This is where I blow myself up again. Verse 10. Uh, hitting on not minus one anymore, so threes. So four hits and no sixes. Mm -hmm. So four plus. Uh, I take two mortal wounds. Uh, four plus seven, and then one more. Eight. So four plus eight is 12. Hitting on threes. Oh, sorry, it would be minus, it would be minus the two mortal wounds. Yeah, it would be minus the two mortal wounds. So I have to roll 10 dice on threes. And then the two mortal wounds will just go through automatically. So that's going to be eight regular saves at minus one. Because these ones just don't roll to wound. Nice stacking. Mm -hmm. uh, you've one got save. one save. And then shrugs plus two because of the mortal wounds. D shrug, fives. Uh, two of them? Two. So I think that's the unit. Yeah. And then two mortal wounds would kill a guy, but he doesn't blow up. And then this one would shift over. All right, and around, I'm going to hold one, hold two, hold more, but I didn't kill the monster, which means I go to 13. And it's bottom of three hero phase. So start a turn, battle tactic. Choose your inner choose. I'm going to choose aggressive expansion. Okay. Going, I, I have to hold two territories I don't currently hold. Okay, at the end of the round, which one's he going to pick? The end, the sides. Smart. Yeah, because if you can kill him with shooting or magic, then you could just charge over there. Actually, you need to kill this unit too, because you'd still be inside three. Uh, your Gnarl Maws, what do you make? Mm. So you got two now. I'm not within one of either of them. No so it's cookies. 2d3 plus oh. three, plus four points for contagion. So four plus four is eight, you go to 10 actions. You're gonna try and heal, you yeah, could... Heal with the great and clean. Okay, so leadership 10. Well, actually, start, start at the hero phase. Heal D3 because of your uh, mm -hmm. your current cycle, season. Cycle corruption. So you're two, one wounded guy, two. he'll go up two and go to eight, and then you could heal D3 more with a heroic recovery. D3. Oh, right, so these guys heal D3 as well. Go to so four. four, and then these guys over here who are also wounded, get D3 back, one. So to three. Your 10 for heroic recovery. Yeah, so got D3 it. So D3 back. Well, he goes plus one. Also heroic recovery on my um, Lord Arcanum. Eight. 
I think I pass. He's nine, so he heals D3, and heals three. He goes up to five. We're into the hero phase proper now. Heroic actions are done. Battle tactic is taken. Got three casts, sorry, two casts left from the leader. Plague wind. Plague wind. Sweet. On seven. Ten. Ten. Oof, and that's a straight line. Every unit takes D3 mortal wounds. Yeah. I have to try and stop it, so yeah. I'm gonna try and stop it from him. And an eleven. Nope, goes off. Okay. So what is it on a four plus or just automatically? Automatically. Ooh, Everybody. Pick a point and then yeah. 14 inches. You just go uh, like this. Everybody suffers D3 mortal wounds. And then your Nurkle unit. Oh, sorry, when you pick the point, is it from the closest point on your base to that point? Because you probably can't get everybody then if you can't go diagonally. Yeah, because it's closest point. You can get this unit and Lord Arcanum because it's closest point on your base, or you get all five of these units. What's that redeploy? You gotta try and kill him, because you gotta get out of melee. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could, yeah, because there's no way to get these two even, because you have to do close point your base to the point you pick on the battlefield. Yeah. So you hit them too. All right, so I have to try and get rid of him. Sure. Because I need to try and take that objective with gun. So D3 D3 mortals. D3 mortals on him is three. Back down to two. He's hurting. And uh, arcane bolt. Uh, nine? Well, I was trying to spell it. Nope, goes off. And just cast it right away. You can't do it until the start of the next phase. Oh. So you can okay. do it at the start of the movement phase where I'll take D3 Mortal Wounds. Oh, well. It's over. Start of the movement phase. You could unleash that Arcane Bolt now or save it until the charge phase. See what your shooting does. First, uh, just start moving the Plague Bears into position here. Just stands out of three, just walk into the zone. Yeah, so. Actually, you're gonna run those guys. So you wanna add D6 to move? Yeah, because then the tree's going down, then they're gonna be sure. charged. Yeah, as well. sounds good. All right, so these guys are going to charge, actually. Uh, so run. Run, extra D6. So extra D6. Just extra realizing D6. that you could summon a tree to help them to charge later, yeah, and they'll just outside of three. I think at this point, just focusing on... Taking the... Trying to get that battle tactic off? Well, and then you, you get, getting, well, you have to roll for him separately. Oh, He's right. the black lever. That's okay. The purple... I, see I know. Purple. <laughs> it's fine. Looking so roll, rolling for him. Extra D6 inches. I've got to paint that red or something. Uh, and then so he's extra, going D6, to go, extra D6. Extra five. five. Yeah, so he'll be hopefully in range. Uh, so that's a four, five, nine. So, yeah, so I'll just be outside of three here. And taking a walk with the uh, drones, or you could like run with them too if you're going to summon a tree. Yeah, summon a tree, so might as well run with them, right? So they go an extra six. So 14. Zippy, zippy. So standing outside of three. They can just kind of sit in between this unit and the conga line. Three, they can come in behind. I just want to make sure that they're going to not get in anybody's way. Yep, so that's out of three. And then I think everyone else is locked in combat, so you want to bring your tree in. Tree's arrived, and that's down seven. So you're from ten to three. Well, Vexlars, or Knight Vexlars feeling very cut off at the moment. Shooting phase. Shoot so did you want to drop that arcane bolt now or wait until the charge phase? I'm going to wait until the charge phase. See how you do with the shooting first? Mm -hmm. So you can get on these those guys, guys. try and get them in combat, yep. Five wounds. Does it. Five hits, sorry. Five. Or attacks. Hitting on... You could all attack this, too, if you wanted oh. to. So two hits. Three. So and then rolling to wound on threes, because you're wounded a bunch. That is the wound. Wounding! Twice. Uh, so minus... Two. Two, all right, minus two. That means I am on uh, fives. Pass pass, five, six. And back to you. Shooting. Um, we'll shoot into there. Death's heads at the flag bearer. Both hit? Uh, or it's on fours, isn't it? So. Yeah. It's your shots, actually, because you're within range of the bow piper. So okay. two more dice. Fours. There and you go. So and then threes, I think, to wound. That's it. Yeah. And there's two wounds. Two uh, three, three plus armor. Uh, pass wound. fail. One wound. He's got, I think, six goes into five. Wounds remaining. Shooting yeah. at that last annihilator. Yeah. Hit him. And there's nobody. Oh, hold on. Are they within seven of the great unclean one? Yep. So plus one attack as well. So four shots on fours. Fours. Three. Three. And then threes to wound. Threes to wound. Two. Two, two plus armor. Pass, pass. The clock, start of the charge phase. Would you like to unleash your thing? Your arcane bolt? I would. I Who are you using on? Uh, Try to kill arcane. Okay. Yeah. T3 mortal wounds. If you get a three plus, he's dead. No, he's got one left. Good lord. Blah! Charges? Charges. So we'll start with the plague drones. This is the last zip, stand of zip, the, zip. the last stand of this Night Vexilor. Uh, plague Bearers. 
And you don't really need the Battle Piper to even be in combat because he ran onto the zone. So they've charged. The He doesn't even need to bother. He can just stand there. Well, I'm just worried if about I die. coming around that way, but... Oh, you might go first. You might just go twice. See, four or three. <laughs> any more charges? No? Unfortunately, no. Okay, any sort of the combat phase stuff? I assume yes. this guy's going to play the pipes? Yes. For mortal he's wounds? Do, yeah, he'll do the same thing with them. Mortal okay. wounds on sixes. They have more attacks. Anything else? Um... No, I wish, but no. Well, I'm going to save you the trouble of uh, killing me, and I'm going to drop all three of my crystal shards. Uh, because you have ten or more wounds, each one I drop does one mortal wound to me and D3 mortal wounds to you. So I'm going to take three mortal wounds and die, and you're going to take D3, 3D3 mortal wounds. Okay. And just explode at the start of the combat phase. Hadouken! Take five mortal wounds. Five shrugs. It's worth a try. Uh, yeah, I took four. Sweet, down to six, and then he's just dead. And you get to pick a unit to fight. That's fine. Okay, we are going to start off with... Over here? Yeah, we're going to start off with the, the plague drones. My poor knife expert. Well, he's going to all at defense. Because, you know, that's the only chance he's got right now. Champion. So yes. they get plus one to uh, all their attacks. So five attacks total because the locust is nearby. Attack down to one CP from the unit leader, or even from the bile piper. Yeah, doesn't matter. Either one. Yeah. Hit on fours. Go, threes go to twos. Why is it threes? You hit threes normally, don't you? No fours. Fours go to threes. Okay, gotcha. Mm, Helped. Yeah, it did. So the twos go away, and then it's threes to wound. That's right. You you wound better than you hit, don't you? Yes. So two wounds minus. That's that tricky with it. It just needs a slight. <laughs> slight touch. So I have a two plus armor right now. Do you have any uh, rend? No. Okay, two plus. Pass fail. How much damage? One. Down from five to four. Back over here, just in case I and none of those explode. Sixes, right? Uh, I don't think so. No, no, they were like this guy fishing for sixes here. Six and then two extra for the piper. Give me those sweet sweet sixes. Sixes. There you go. There's one, and then you hit on threes still because of all the attack. Yeah, it's, uh, well, actually hit on twos. Oh, because they hit on threes. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So there's one mortal wound. One mortal wound. Is it in addition, or does your attack sequence end? No. Nope. So another mortal wound. So down to three. Forced to wound, so that's uh, boom, boom, boom. Four, two, three, two plus saves. Take another one, down to two. The stings, which is probably gonna finish me off. That's cocked. So that's uh, three, because it's all out attack. Three, and they're minus ones, these are on threes. Uh, one. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, that was three hits. I didn't do any. Oh, wounds. sorry, wounds still. Two, two wounds. wounds. Still take one, D3. You might kill me, three plus. That's. Uh, so he blows up. I'll blow up into the Plague Bears, and I blow up seven times because I'm Thunderstrike. On sixes. Make two wound shrugs. He goes back home to Azer. Uh, pass fail. And so he's gone. It was yours. Yay. Along with his own. So I get to go now. One out of two. Uh, I guess we just try to zone you out. Nah, we'll go over there. We'll go with Thunderstrike guy. He's got four attacks, he's a prime. Uh, I've got no CPs, but I could use my free order to all attack, which I will. So I hit on twos, and I wound. Oh, so I got one six there, so I'll take one more to wound. And then wound on threes. There we go, he's waking up. Three at minus one. Three minus so one. Three six seven. ups. Yep. So four damage. So four shrugs. You should be able to save this guy. No, he's dead. Kills another one. He's got two wins left for the Annihilator. Your great unclean one and the uh, bug left because there's nothing left alive over here. You're taking the zone. You just stand there if you want, yeah? Yeah, because I don't want to pile in because then it's just going to get... Uh, you want to bring in the Praetors? You only have six wins left, so it's probably smart. They do two damage each. So, Try and kill them quick. Yep. All right, so... I have no CPs left, so I can't even all at defense, so they're just going to take it. Like well, yeah. Hitting on threes. Did you want to all at attack? Oh, no, you've done that already. You did it with them, didn't you? Yeah. Threes. And then I think it's threes no, no, again, because no, you're yeah, super damaged. So damaged on ten wounds, so it's fours. Fours. Oh, then sword. Stabber sword, yep, on threes, because you're plus one to hit. Uh, wait, so I'm uh, so wounded, I'm getting only two attacks with it. Threes. One hit. Threes again. No. Oh. And then Nurglings. Get them, Nurglings. Let's just do the job. Fives. One. Do it. Do it. No. 
Okay, uh, I guess I fight back with them. They've got two attacks, goes to four attacks, because there's two of them there. And try not to kill yourselves, fellas. Uh, you know what, they'll just make sure they get within an inch. So if they do happen to blow themselves up, then they can hurt you. Hitting on threes. No more wounds. And one wound at minus one. Saved. Well, okay then. Uh, that looks like... Oh no, you got this guy left. Because all my guys have fought. Can I heal the D3? Make some stabs. Uh, you still have a hero nearby, so everything's plus one attack. He's the banner bearer. Yeah, attacks base. Attacks, attacks base. The rider. Nothing. And uh, four attacks for the schnout. One? One. Oh, they hunt threes, don't they? No, yeah, that's yeah, right. Threes so and twos. fours. Yeah. So they're reversed. Nope. nope. And then and the then stinger. Stinger. Two. Two. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus one, so three plus. Pass, pass. Uh, Battleshock, I'm immune over here, but he would have to take one. His bravery's high enough, though he doesn't care. No, nope, one back. Oops. Like, these guys get to make one, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, you score. Uh, you're going to have hold one, so that's going to put you at three. And then you're trying to take these two this round, which you failed to do. So it's round four. And let's see who's going first. The season changes. The in move characteristic of gnarly units. Oh, you guys move an extra two inches. Sweet. And then we're looking at who's going first. So dice and off. Five. Six. You only really forgot when you were doing the mortal wounds to him to do a dice roll for them. D3 mortal wounds. Two. So one of these guys dies. Immune to battle shot because they're near and drastic. So you're going to try and... You got two options here that you're thinking about. Either kill my general with your general, which would be these two, or take over one I already control. Well, my general with your general is worth two if your general is a monster, I'm pretty sure. You do the kill your warlord, my warlord with your warlord, and it's plus one if you're a monster. So that's actually not a bad idea. If you can get yourself out of this combat by doing a bunch of shooting and... Well, I'll be shooting and probably magic. Plague Wind will be real good this turn anyway because it's killing the units that you want to kill. Rook actions first. I'm going to try to... Or sorry, you guys do yours first, because your turn. Do you want to do yeah. heal? Do you want to yeah, do... I think i got to heal. Okay. Little chumsy there. D3. Yeah, D3. Roll under 10. One. One. So you got a seven. Your movement's pretty handy for you as well right now. My rook action, I'm going to obviously heal this guy. I do for D3. Get back one. Go to six. Magic stuff. Contagion points. So you're going to get... Uh, you have D3. one... So three D3, and I'm not oh. in your zone, so plus four. Three to three plus four. Could be a big turn. Uh, so five, nine. Teen points. Oh, sorry. Nine plus three. Magic. Magic. Plague Wind. I have no dispels right now. <laughs> so you do what you want. Nine. That does it. Sweet. So uh, everybody. D3. D3, 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 D3. Yep. So five plus, they're just dead, and you're free. Fine. Dead. Nice. But, but they might wound you. So six dice. Looking for sixes for mortal wounds. One, make a shrug. Nope. Nope, so they take another one. These guys are dead. <laughs> These guys, the Praetors, D3, two. So they're gonna go down to one left on the guy. Again, on Indrasta. Two. Two, so does she um, pass them off? She doesn't pass off one, she passes off the other one. This will kill a guy. And then she gets one four plus shrug. She shrugs in the nice. last of the Vindictors. One, just kills this guy. We're gonna Stormcast, you're playing the long game here. Uh, you got one more spell left. My Lord and Puritans. Could charge up a Arcane Bolt and uh, save I it for the charge turn. Yeah. yeah, and then do D3 Mortal Wounds to me, plus your charge, plus your stomps. Uh, yeah, that goes off. So you get yourself a Arcane Bolt. So you're gonna get your charge four plus D3, then you could Monstrous Rampage for D3, then you get Arcane Bolt for D3, which is sweet. Probably don't live. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, so movement phase. Movement phase. You walk away. <laughs> uh, and then these guys do whatever they want. Just gonna stay outside of three, I imagine. Yeah. Whoa. He cheerily walks over there because I've not managed to kill him. I'm going to spend my free... Well, actually, you know what? Um... Okay. Uh, you could run, but you still won't be able to end a move within three of me. No, I understand, but it may put me even closer. Like here, I have to make a higher charge to get sure. into the zone. Yeah, if you want so, to. You, you want to go laterally? As long as I'm within seven of the thing. I'll roll. I don't have to do the run of no. yeah, okay. I mean, so. you're always going to be within seven, right? So you have six extra inches. So you can go, like this way. I just don't think there's anywhere to put your base that's not going to be within three of me. Right? Your base is way too big. So... I can come over there, though. Yeah, but you're way within three of me now. 
Oh, true. Yeah, there's that <laughs> like, I just, I just don't think you're going to be able to go anywhere that's... And watch it, because be, you'll oh. be within three of the... Never yeah, you can't mind. be within three of the... Oh, jeez. Can't be within three of the Thunderstrike guy either, later, rather. Okay. It was a nice thought. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to spend my free CP that I get, because I'm at... Th actually, I don't want to do my free one. No, I'm going to just do one of my normal ones, go down to two. And I'm going to uh, redeploy and fall back D6. Ah, that's the only <laughs> one. So usually that could have been great and make you charge further, but oh well. Worth a try. Uh, and I got two CPs left to yours. Sorry, two as well. well. Piper obviously needs to continue to hold the zone, but you've got yeah, some. Nice. So just going to... And remember your plus two movements, so you can just stay outside of three if you want. Yeah, I think I'm going to come. Or you could, I mean, they could fly, they can fly a lot right now and yeah. still charge. They could fly uh, 10 plus D6 if you wanted to run. And fly across the other side. Yeah. Try and get to where you want to charge in Drasta. No. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to, well, I'm sorry, I mean, around to tire up, maybe. Just. They can walk six this turn and still charge. Yeah, yeah turn left after this, you can try and keep the Battle Piper alive just by being a garrison. Yeah. Yeah, this flips to you, by the way. You own that. All right, looks like guns o'clock. Start off with the death heads. Death heads here, so, so an extra attack. Four the, shots, yep. Yeah. The guy being close, and Hit that on is one hit. Winning on a three. That's a hit. Three plus. We're good. Mister Thunderstrike uh, misses. Miss. And am I seven inches away from you? Actually, you should have two more shots. There's two guys there now. True. Two, one hit. Wound. And then I get a two plus armor save. Good. I definitely went seven, yeah. Okay. So that is um, D6 attacks. He's going to use his alt defense. Two. Two. So down to one CP. One hit. Okay. Uh, Unless you hit on twos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... This is. Plus to wound because you're so damaged. No. Shooting's over. On to charging. Who's charging? We'll start here into the. Indicators. Indictors go five. Indictors. Yeah. Keeping Indrasta out, I assume. Yes. Okay. There. Charging over there. Uh, eight. You definitely got it. So you can go touch the zone. Yes, and that's definitely what I want to do again. Boop. So then you get your four plus crushing bulk. Four plus for D3. This is super important. Gets it. D3 mortal wounds. Takes one. Down to five left. And then at the end of the charge phase, you could also stomp. I do a, you can keep me, so on a three plus, you keep me from doing um, commands, or you could two plus do D3 Mortal Wounds. And then you still have D3 Mortal Wounds left at the start of the combat phase from your Arcane Bolt. Do the stomp, okay, Rampage. Does, D3. Two more, so I'm down to three left. And then start of the combat phase, would you like to unleash your, hell, your Arcane Bolt? Arcane Pimple, let's do it. Okay, so D3. You get a five plus, I'm dead. One, I got two left. Damn it. All right. Uh, pick a combat, any combat. You got three going I over here. To. I have to. You do it first, okay. Try it to die. Uh, all out attack. I will all defense for my free command trait. In the shooting phase, I can do it once per phase. My oh. once per turn free order. So I was hitting on twos. Two hits, wounding on not quite as good anymore. I think threes, one. and then two plus, you're minus what, one? Minus one. So three plus. We're good. Your sword. This is the big one. Two attacks, I'm pretty sure, because you're so wounded. So wounded with two. Yeah. Hitting on threes, because it's always threes, because you're plus one, but oh, you can't be plus two. Out. Yeah, no, but it's not plus oh, two, because you eight. can't be plus two. Two hits. There you go. And then... No wound, well, but I might still kill myself from hitting you, remember? That's true. And to keep you all in suspense for that, we're going to go over here first. Ah, you know what? No, we're going to go over here and try not to die. So I got four attacks from that prime. Uh, I have one wound left. No, two wounds left. I could all attack to hit on twos. It's my last CP. I might as well. Yeah, I'll hit on twos. Hit on twos. I take a wound. Uh, but then I wound on threes, two at minus one. Save on six. Four damage. I probably won't kill a guy here. Actually, I can't kill a guy here, but I do do four damage. Got a one, and you got a one as well, because you brought a guy back to life. They're so hard to kill. So you got your drones, your drones, and that's it left. The Which drones. One? Do the ones that haven't fought yet? That makes sense. Um, so they're within the locus of contagion there. You got so it. 
Uh, five rider attacks. I'm assuming you didn't mention it, but they're doing six as more ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm just assuming that's the default as long as they're yeah, there. A stabbing we will go. Or well, I think my postula sleeping is the sure. Oh, that's two mortal wounds. Okay, so two mortals. And I hit on four, so those do not do anything. I should yeah, I should have probably done all an attack, but so, but you can't do it twice. No. Oh, then, uh, then, that, that would, then that would be why. <laughs> so one wound. One wound. I fail my save, so I'll take three wounds total, which will kill this guy, well, and leave a wound on the prime, because you did two mortal wounds. Oh, right. Right, so it's yeah. three wounds so far. So you keep going. Yep. You still have your Probis guy and your mm -hmm. stingers. So three, six, the Probis guy, and then two more for the Locust. And that's uh, hitting on threes. And one mortal wound, two mortal wounds, so oh, five. Yeah, and wounding on fours. Not take two dice out because the more. Oh no, you don't. They don't replace. Yeah, That's right. Uh, they keep addition. going. It's an addition. Uh, two more, two and these are not minus. So three plus. Take another one. Go to six. And then the stingers. Stingers. Uh, no two. The two hits. Three to wound. Three to wound. Two okay. at minus one. Four plus. Fail them both. Two d three. Uh, five. Five? So another, so it's nine wounds total. So four guys are going to die and a guy's going to have a wound. So we'll have him be wounded and then these four guys are dead. Two of them are within an inch, so that's six dice, fishing for sixes. Take two mortal wounds. Fail, fail. Two left on those guys. Uh, then I'll select them and they're just not going to pile in. You're having to attack. Uh, so then you got your last unit over here. My so rider attacks, yep. Fours and threes. No, uh, mortal wound kills me. So no, nothing else matters? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's the. Oh, that's, that's right. They're not mortal. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. It's just the one unit. Uh, so fours. Threes. Just got my live. Two. Two plus. Live. It's three, six. I think it's eight because you've got the two bonus. Yep. Threes uh, and fours. And fours. Yes. Yeah, so boom, boom, boom. Force to wound. Two. two. Two plus. This guy lives somehow? Yep, passes. And then your Probus guy? No, four. no, this is the Stingers. Stingers, four attacks. Uh, two, two, and then threes. One. Three plus. He lives. Bonkers, I thought that guy was dead for sure. Uh, okay. Do I kill myself? <laughs> I, don't, I, I really don't want to attack at all. I just want to fall back. If I roll two sixes here to hit you, I'm dead. Um, so my hammer... Yay! Bark, bark, beak boy. Don't do it. Don't, don't kill yourself. Ah, he doesn't. And then wounds on fours. Two regular saves. And I could bounce these You could back. bounce these back and kill me. That's right. <laughs> two sixes. Come on. Well, it's your armor first. Dice, you owe me this. Four plus. Fail the, fail the saves. Four plus armor. Pass, fail. So you can't kill me, but you can do a wound. Uh, you shrug oh, it. it. But it doesn't do any wounds. All right, end of the round. You didn't kill me, so I'm still holding the zone. They're immune to battle shock. Uh, they're immune to battle shock, and you're gonna score one. So you're gonna go to four. 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 Well, for the mighty four. All right. So bottom of four. Uh, I gotta pick a battle tactic. I'm gonna. I could go with take a zone. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do take a zone that you previously held. Oh, no, that's the kill. Oh, I could do slay the world with my warlord. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do kill your. I'm just gonna do slay, kill your warlord. That's what's gonna happen. Not a lot of stuff otherwise. We're going to heroically, um, like try and stay alive. Uh, so heroic ability. Oh, I could also do plus one to wound and do like. Uh, do I need heroic vigor? I go first next turn, I'll be okay. I'm just gonna not heroic vigor. I'm gonna do finest hour on Indrasta. Plus one to wound and save. And then I'm going to do. And then you can do yours. So do you want a heroic vigor on him? Or make a CP here as well? So leadership 10. Pass. D3. Two. So you go back to eight. Problem is if I leave this one. If I leave this one, I don't hold it anymore, but I could pop off of that. I need another character over here, and I don't have one. Other stuff, she's going to bring back a Praetor. Uh, she's gonna bring back a, this guy, bring back a Judicator. So we need to kill this great unclean one, preferably on the charge. I have no magic to do this with. 
I could do a shooting. Combat. And in Drasta can also do a whole lot of damage right now. But the problem is if I leave this... But I might just kill you with shooting, which would be great. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, movement phase. I don't have any casting. We're just going to stand just at the very tippy edge of this. We're going to line up and prepare to die. <laughs> He's like paper thin, though. If you I know. Stand sideways, I know. can you see him? <laughs> I'm going to run. Uh, these guys are going to go uh, 11. They're just going to stay within three of Andrasta. She flies. If she does have to charge. She'll be able to be within three of them at the end. Uh, and then these idiots are going to fall back. They're five, just to be able to see your big boy. And that's it. All right, shooting. How do we do, Judicators? We're going to shoot these guys over here, hitting on uh, threes for the red, twos for the blue. And then the blue turns into d6 which is four, so eight hits total. So that's gonna be this one. We're wounding on threes. So Grand and Cleanly needs to make six saves at minus one. Five plus. Um, you know, he's gonna, oh, but it's, it's two rounds, right? So yeah, I'm gonna- All defense? But can. All defense, both rounds, right? It'll last until the end of the shooting phase, and then you could do it again for yeah, your last I, one. No, you, you said you're gonna kill me in shooting, so I might as well- I'm gonna try, yeah. <laughs> so fours. Fail two. Is it? Yeah. So it Did you plus one minus one? Yep. Yeah. And then uh, do you shrug on fives? No, it was only two. Oh. It was only two. I'll take those two. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's we're going to wheel up D6 shots from the Lord Imperial's hands. He gets three. Uh, hitting on threes. And then wounding on threes. Nothing. This is going to Hummer Spear. Hits. Wounds minus three, I think. So I think you get a well, six defense, against so this. Six. A low high three. Three. Is not save, yeah. All right, and then it's d six. Oh, sorry, it's only minus two, but it's d six damage. Take four damage. Four shrugs. Uh, two. Two more. So down to six. The question is, do I charge with her? I think I have to. I didn't fall back to guarantee the zone. So I think I have to. She's gonna charge. She's gonna try and make a charge. Go get him, big boy. Six, she won't make it, no. so she'll spend uh, the free order off of him to re-roll it. Oh, that was the big. ones. Then you gotta do the job there, buddy. So you've got the hair of rage, which means you are going to um, pop your uh, armor and just go all in here. So you're gonna have six attacks of your hammer. Uh, and you're going to spend two to all attack. Down to okay, one. Um, I'm gonna all, all defense. Yep, so we're both out of CPs. And I hit on twos here. So that's two damage, but also does a mortal wound to me. Yep. Uh, so I'll roll that one separately. It wounds. So one of these is, is sorry, three damage. And then they all wound. So five at minus one that are two damage, and one at minus one that's three damage. Okay, so the, the, the eyeballs is the three damage. Okay. And minus one plus so four. So, so, yeah, force. Force. Woo so you uh, take two, three. so three, five. five damage. So five shrugs. Uh, one back in. You had six wounds left. You and, take four uh, and one to me. So I've taken two, I'm dead at the end of this. Uh, but I get my uh, hound now and you're down to two wounds left. Hitting on threes. There's two hits. This could still do it. Fours. Two saves. Two regular armor saves. Did you make any sixes? It wasn't no, no sixes. Okay. You Six. make them up. I tried. You shrugged it back too hard. So he's gone. So I didn't make my battle tactic. You get to pick a unit to fight. Uh, it's just these guys, I think. There, so five so up top there. Uh, hitting on fours. So one. One hit. Moving on threes. Oops, that's a wound. Two plus. I'm alive. And the proboscis is eight, two, it's five, eight. Hitting uh, on threes. Threes and fours. So ones and twos go away. And then fours to wound. Two. two. So two two pluses. He's good. Just there. That's three hits. And then threes to wound. Three, three saves. Ooh, three four. three pluses. This could kill me. I'm dead. Uh, so I blow up. If I get a six here, I'll take one of you with me. Give me that six. No, that's round. So I lose this one, but you don't gain it because you haven't finished a normal move on top of it. 
And so I'm going to score, I mean you will next turn, I'm going to score hold one and go to 14, my battle tactic. And so now it's top of five, last turn of the game. Uh, so first the season, you get a two, I get a three, so I get to double round. What a wound roll, sweet. Uh, I'm going to bring back the prime in this unit from Indrasta. I'm going to bring back uh, another Praetor. And I kind of have the Alamo here. It's uh, looking pretty dicey. So she did her finest hour, but didn't get to use it. Uh, she doesn't need to heal. I don't need to, uh, I guess I could make an extra CP for her. She doesn't like to heal. You have two wounds left. Yeah, I'm assuming I'll that that's, that's important. Survive this. You pass, so D3. Two goes to five. And I've got two CPs, you've got three. Well, uh, battle tactics. I don't have a lot I can do here. I could... Done broken ranks. We tried bring it down, didn't get it. Uh, can't do first advance. Conquer either, because you don't own that objective yet, because you haven't moved on top of it. Um, aggressive expansion. I can't control two because I don't even have two heroes. I don't have any I can actually do. I could have a monster trying to do a takeover, but I don't have any monsters. I've tried to kill your warlord and failed. Yeah. You don't control any of these, so unfortunately I can't do... I mean, I guess I could try and conquer this one. Not that it'll work. Conquer's the one I'll declare. I'm not going to be able to get it, but I'll declare it anyway. And then let's do some movement because I have no magic. Shablooey. <laughs> these guys follow along, staying outside of three and shutting this thing down. Uh, these guys just hold the zone. Actually, they'll back up further. This, we're just gonna abandon this zone because it goes away as soon as I leave it. They'll continue to back up. Shooting, bring this big boy down. Actually, do I wanna? Yeah, it's fine. I'll shoot the Grand Enclaimer with the Judicators. Rerolling once, because you're chaos. And then these miss. That was unfortunate. Oh, sorry, it does hit on a two, actually. Uh, so that turns into three more. And that's three saves at minus one for the big fella. You all defense, sorry, we should have mentioned. And so you're on fours. One, and then a shrug. Good. And the spear, Thingvar, two plus. Hits, two plus. Wounds at minus two. Five up save. Yeah. Nope, D6 damage. Two, two, two more shrugs. Nope. Fail them both. Down to three. And then both these units will charge Indrasta. She makes it nine. So she'll just go sit over here. Uh, she'll actually sit just like right there. Just touching the zone. Uh, and then these guys will charge two, and I should probably actually roll dice for that. <laughs> and they go eight, and they're gonna go around this way. How can you not? I don't know. Mm, just be in behind, but then pile it afterwards. Uh, and we'll go with him first. Well, then Drasta. So she's going to all attack to hit on twos. Heal all out defense. Yep, to save on better than twos. She is twos to hit, twos to wound. Uh, Rerolling ones in the charge because she's a celestial vindicator. No, and then twos to wound. Three at minus. I didn't get any sixes to hit either. Three at minus two. Minus two puts me to a five. Saved two. Three damage. This could kill you. <sighs> Five, three sixes, and them all back to you. Do it. Ugh. Dead. And so I'll just hold one, uh, but not hold more. So I'll go to fifteen, and that's end of five. You're top of five. One round. Uh, you could try and pick two to control, like these two maybe. Yeah. I'm and then absolutely. make a hero and bring him in. Yeah. So hero phase, you have him alive, but doesn't really do anything else. You can I have do a no magic. You could do a finest hour. I have a general line, but you don't. Actually, sorry, I don't. My general's dead too. So you just get your basic CPs. And I don't get it. Actually, sorry, I should have zero because my general was dead. So I only started the round with one. I have um, uh, me in my zone. <laughs> do I even, am I even in my zone? Yeah, I'm in my zone. You're not, so that's four. Plus three D3 for the corruption is another six. No. Two, four. four. So eight. So you're at uh, That's 12, 12, 20. 20 total. I make a CP as well. No. The phase. So movement. So we're going to buzz, buzz, You're trying to take over these two zones. Yeah. As your battle tactic. Battle tactic is to take over the two zones, right? Yeah. And you're plus movement still? What's the... No, no. I'm plus one to wound. That's right. So they can go... So I'm just going to go... Eight. Up. Sets out of three. Yeah. And... These guys want to gang up too? 
went over to throw some rocks, although one might not be able to see because you'll be through the woods. Uh, what if I went that, that way? way? Sure. Yeah. Oh, but then well, not, maybe, and you might be outside of range too because yeah. you only shoot six. I think. Yeah, you're just out, unfortunately. You can't run and shoot here within range. seven, can you? Oh, it's a 14 inch range. Then, yeah, then just go back here and look through your guy. Sit back there. I thought the, the death's heads were like super short range for some reason. It's the puke I'm thinking of. So, yeah, they're but both good. I almost think you know, uh, the death's head's one thing. I'm going to do way more if I am closer. Whoops. Close the model, model really matters for charging, so you're you're fine. You can, in this way, you get both your shots. You maximize uh, your damage. I'm not going to bother moving. The, okay, sorry. They're just going to sit? Yeah. Flight pairs are just going to sit there. They. they uh, Got nothing else and Bile Piper's gonna hold the zone. Um, and the Moon Phase is gonna summon in a Pox Brayer. Yeah, so it has to be a 9 away. Yeah, just outside of 9. That's 8. Yeah, just use that. There you go. As soon as make that charge and get that zone. Exactly, that's that's what I'm hoping for. And you probably want to stop killing these guys with shooting after this guy dies, because otherwise I'm taking closest models away. So you just want to kill him, really. Behind instead. Get the other tree. Um, Smart. So, uh, shooting. So if I was being really jank, I, it's lucky I don't have any CPs because these guys would just have fallen back away from this zone, but I can't. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any CPs. I, I ran out. Jank. Double Six shots. Double shots. Four shots with death heads on fours. Uh, Looks like three. Uh, I mean, I've been rolling on the wrong side of the table, you know, maybe that was Maybe it. that was it, yeah. And then threes? No. One, three up. Good. Yeah, but they're only going to be two. Good two. Now. We're only fourteen. No, but they're only two. There's oh, there's no, no hero nearby. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Them, so yeah. Yeah. charges. Charges. Um, we'll easy one first. You have the CP to reroll the big one. So yeah, it's so really just do these guys get in? Yeah. So seven. seven. Gonna go around the side. Make room for the boss. Well, I want them actually to make sure that they are within seven. If he doesn't. Well, if he doesn't, then it's, it's really kind of game over anyway. I don't. I think it's game over at this point. But yeah, but just it's to, to see if you get the the turn. Yeah, so... The other unit. The other unit, and seven. You got it. And yeah, Nurgle loves it. And then can you roll the nine? A nine. Get it. Eight. Eight. Oh, you're going to reroll it? You got one I CP? Have to, I have to, right? Sure, fair enough. I mean... I'm just, I'm just trying to think if there's anything that... Uh, there's no there's no reason not to right now. No, but I think it gives plus one movement somehow, like uh, for charges. Like, that would be any musicians or something like that. Mm. Not, not anything here, and... Eight. Eight. Was, uh, I think you... Do you have a season where you get plus the charge? No, oh, okay. like musicians and stuff may give me bonus charges and stuff like that, but uh, Sweet. not for him. Well, we could fight it out here. Uh, and I think we're see what you call do. It there. Call it there, yeah, because the, the zones can't be held. So you're gonna get one more. Hold one. Uh, I hold one as well, so that'll put you at five because we're tied, and it's five to fifteen at the end of the game. So we all end of the game, two grindy armies duking it out, but the Stormcast managed to get an early lead and hold on to it until the end of the game. Um, absolutely, this was possibly the kryptonite for my Stormcast list, as that um, allegiance ability to have sixes that hit them, bounce mortal wounds back, basically meant that every time I was doing something, they were doing something back to me, which was crazy, and you could see the amount of damage that obviously threw back into my Stormcast. So, uh, big thanks for Craig coming in, bringing his beautifully painted army, and if you want to check out uh, anything, if you're a big fan of board games, he does an educational series called Teaching with Board Games that I'll link in the video description, you can check it out too. Uh, so anyway, big thanks for watching, we'll see you for more Warhammer Age of Sigmar in the future, till then Ash, top rating. Really. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can. 